For Virgin Media viewers, please press the red button. If you have a TiVo box or SkyQ box, please access settings and use the audio selection option. Any problems, please contact our viewers hotline. My and Bender, the Noloid Rusha. Metal Quim. Ag my and all of the game. Screw fix sprint. A Novi Pale Droid RS Pedwarek. Cody Cupan Cymru, I'm Dame Lads. Ac mae gan rheolwyr y ddau ddim heddi y profiad o wneud hynny. Neil Gibson oedd e'n rheolwr ac yn chwaraewr dy prestatyn bron ddegawd yn ôl. Arwen, nomadiaid Keikona, mae fe erbyn hyn. Ac enillo Steve Evans y cwpan dair gwaith fel chwaraewr dy'r Saintia Newydd. A hefyd unwaith fel aelod o'r tîm hyfforddi. Yr gŵr barch sy'n arwen, bai colwyn erbyn hyn. Deja vu ar lan y dyfrdwy am yr ail dymor yn ylynol. Mae Keikona a bai colwyn yn cwrdd yng Nghopan Cymru. Croeso mawr ato chi. Am ddurnod yr hail yn gwenu Siôn Mareddith sy'n cadw cwmni i fi. Braf cael bod mae Siôn, croeso mawr ato ni. Dyrhodol. Nath bai colwyn neud i tymod fetha, yn ennill fan hyn, a dyn nhw'n gallu greu di eto? Wel, pam lai, um, dwi'n gwybod bod Steve Evans yn, yn ffyddio gallwn nhw cael cynlyniad, a, a nid upset fydd i, uh, yn i farnu, fydd, uh, fydd cael cynlyniad positif yn hyn. Um, y ffaith bod nhw wedi dod mae llynedd a, a ennill mae hwnna yn ffactor. Um, felly, ie, yeah, pam lai. Felly, ie, pam lai. Felly, ie, pam lai. Felly, ie, pam lai. Canodd y cefnogwyr y mallionedd, maen nhw'n maen nhw'n maen eto Ryan Edwards yn Calonna. Ddi'n dipyn o stori a'r profiad, mae'n rhai o'r chwrae wedi newid fel rhan fwyaf dal yma, felly faint o help yw profiad fel hyn. Ie, yeah, hefyd, pyn ti'n chwarae byn tîm sy'n chwarae mewn lefel uwch. Ti'n codi dy gêm, ti'n codi dy gêm falle deg y cant yn fwy na chwarae uh, yn y gyngre. Fe bydd tai felly, ta'n mynd yn achlysur i, i unrhyw clwb o chwarae yn Gwpan Cymru. A fi'n gwybod, nes ti'n cyfeirio at y dorf mae uh, bai colwyn yn dod a mae hwnna'n mynd i hefyd fod yn ffactor ar gyfer uh, y pynawn. Ie, yeah, cyrbi gath yr ail gol, mae fe, mis y goliau tymor yma hefyd. Ond i'n sôn am y ddau reolwr ar y dachrau fan yna, dewch chi'n ei glywed gan y ddau hefyd. Steve Evans gyda Bai Colwyn, Neil Gibson gyda Llawdi, roedd o cytundeb newydd llawn amser fan hyn, a roedd o'r gwaith da ma fe wedi gwneud ers cyrraedd ma. A fel gawn ni glywed gan Sioned David hefyd, fe yw rheolwr y mis. Sioned, sydd wedi bod yn siarad ar ddau. Neil, first of all, congratulations. Are in order, manager of the month. I guess you're hoping that doesn't prove to be a curse this afternoon. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you're guarded against it, aren't you? Because sometimes it can be, you know, it can go that way. You know, signed a new contract on Wednesday, manager of the month yesterday. Things are, sometimes feel like they're going too well, don't they, when you've won 10 games on the spin. But you've got to believe in the process. You know, the players are playing well, we're training well. We've uh, done our due diligence all week, ready for today's game. So hopefully we can get the desired result. It's the games you want to test yourself against, you know, both players and managers and coaches. Um, but it's going to set as, um, as a good test of where we're at. You know, we've got aspirations of being in the top league in the JD Premier. And, um, you know, it'll give us a good um, marker of where we're at. We're very much aware of the threats that they will pose. We watched um, uh, Colwyn Bay last week against Leonard Lewis in the league. Um, so we saw them come back and we see the character in the fight as well as the playing ability they've got. So, as I say, we know their threats, but also we've got some and we'd like to try and impose that on them today. And should we do so, hopefully we can get ourselves into the next round. They're good at what they do, but we've also got um, strengths in our team that we'll be looking to utilise. Um, we're, we're, people will look at it as an as a upset if we go and get the result today. I don't. You know, I'm, I'm fully confident that we'll go and get the result. Steve Diachmar. Sean and David and Holly Sean Dice. I'm going to meet Steve Evans. My guys now. I'm going to go back to Mickey Clowed. We're going to be thumbing up Mickey Clowed. By Colwyn, Becky, I'm not a brig and hung around a goggled. A hell guy, see Gerard, they're hung around Cymru. On Cup and Cymru, Heddy. I'm going to meet Alan Bow Street. It's in the game now. I'm not a pretty brave. I'm Cup and Cymru. I'm on the average, Sean. Ew. Bo'r clwb i'r fel Bow Street yn gallu croesawu torf fawr o fai Colwyn. Ie, yeah, yn hollol, tyn nhw'n um, rhamant y, y cwpan, a oedd yn pnawn arbennig oedd yn Bow Street, um, to dorf sylw, sylweddol wedi lo i'r bai Colwyn, a hefyd, tipyn y dod o'r dyb o amgylch aber ystwyth o'r gyfer y gêm. Felly, to, mae me hefyd uh, yn, yn gyfle i clwb i'r fel Bow Street, neu bach o arian, um, a to, y ffaith bod yna dros pump cant o leia yn, yn y cae piod, yn tipyn o pnawn oedd yno. Ie, yeah, tipyn o'r clysur, ond 
wins by Colwyn and Minda He. My head yard no, but I'm done over. Now, do you know what he had? As long Kinder were not cup and Cymru. My mouth to a third of an Saint Edward with. We might need a head yard team. Oh, my head yard team. She had a lot of the momentum in Pilt Road. As she had head yard Volna, she just she brought Marus and Minna Stan, Bob Di Sarden, Atria Kalakananiada. I don't know any on base with the boys and team on the service now with Palma. Yeah, and you saw them red yard at K Connor, a red yard campus, Evan Neil Gibson, the Caverio Atova. Where do you think? And Dimbich and Gnarach and against that layeth a man. My dear, been a story because Ildion a goal. I do not even take with an amal on when Scorio Pimpevin shot. Been a dear nomad yet. Neil Gibson or the show. I do know no Livelonu than Andy Morrison. No, back in Wahanol and a man who ran Rioleth Andy Morrison and Neil Gibson. My name look we're going to have a project here tomorrow. A process with the Livelonu. Well, Ateta, that's no. Ateta. Well, so yeah. Madano Ruvath a process, Madano Kansin, um, America Lee Haiti get a contract to Ivanet. Yeah, just back here, it's a one on style. Under on his savon over here, I got here, Harry or Saint Yenewe. They didn't know I got so on honey. Well, Rini Bithum, that he dreamed the bed of a career is vast and to Oti, I got to with Gervano, Vasifan or process Nadalan, Viva Sedraham in the way now with Nostra Hav. Yeah, can you all? Vachy Cup and Cymru, Dyma Lenny Arney, a dreaded round doi game. Neithiwr, vachy a sal team drew other barod. Penadaren o Ferthyr yw un. Cofio dilyn hint a helynt nhw raith ym horen ol ym yn yr hollfordd i chwarae'n erbyn Bangor. Y Saintia Newydd yw'r team arall sy'n drwy'n drychwch ar hon. Ryan Brobo tipyn o gol gan o fe yn foli felus. Peder mewn peder i Brobo. Dwi gol un o ddi yn y pen draw cofiwch. Yn ymwneud i hapus dar perfformiad, maen nhw drwodd, maen nhw yn yr het i daflu'r ystrydeb na atoch chi. Mae'n bennod nos Cwpan Cymru, digon o le am ystrydebau yn yr heilwen fyn hyn yng nghei Conna by Colwyn sydd yma mae'r gic gyntaf yn fyw pan ddewn ni'n ôl wedi'r egoel. Screw Fix Sprint, yn nobi pêl droed ar S4 Eich.
Screw Fix Sprint, a Nobby Pale Droid and S Pedorek. Troes yn ôl i Gay Cona yn yr hail ar lan y dyfrdwy by Colwyn sydd matra dydd rownd Cupan Cymru am gystadleuaeth. 145 o flynyddoedd ers i'r gystadleuaeth mae ddechrau a mae'r cefnogwyr yn cywio tu allan gymaint o ddiddordeb sydd yna yn lleol yn y gem a gymaint o ddiddordeb y gwmpas clwb by Colwyn y dyddiau yma. Mae nhw'n glwb yn ôl yn y system yng Nghymru ac yn chwarae yng Nghopan Cymru. Ni'n mynd i fi'n draw i'n tîm sylwebu nesa. Tro nesa, bydda i'n coesaf i'n y cwari yn fyw ar S4 Rec bydd yn Qatar. Digon amser i edrych yma'n achos edrych yn ôl a cofio sy'n bwythig pen wythnos yma. Mawr cymalen a neu'r cwari sy'n gyda chi. Good afternoon and welcome to the Deeside Stadium in Connors Quay where the Nomads entertain Colwyn Bay in the third round of the JD Welsh Cup. The home team, under the guidance of Neil Gibson, are on a fine ten-game unbeaten run in the Cymru Premier League while Steve Evans, Baymen, sit top of the Cymru North, currently undefeated. So two teams in tremendous form could provide us with a Welsh Cup special. Wonderful sunny day in Deeside. Let's hope for an entertaining encounter. Alongside me, Tommy Morgan. Tom, what a wonderful setting for, we hope, a great Welsh Cup match. Yeah, good afternoon, Mark. Good afternoon, everybody. Yes, really, really looking forward to this encounter this afternoon. It's going to be one winner this afternoon without a shadow of a doubt. And a cup tie. That's a, probably on a knife edge. Colin Bay won here last season in the, in the, the cup as well. So, all to play for this afternoon. Colwyn Bay, of course, supported, well supported. I think the average league attendance is 726 so far this season, and that's bigger than anything in the well in the Cymru Premier League. There will be, we we'll let you know, there will be a minute silence in a minute for Amherst Day, of course, memory. Uh, but two teams eager, like you said, Tom. There's some good players in these teams. Neil Gibson, manager of the month. Yeah, hope he's hoping the curse doesn't. Uh strike in this afternoon and a new two and a half year contract full time job here on D side he's done a great job so far this season yes big boots to fill Andy Morrison Craig Harrison two teams lining up for the minute silence <laughs> Fine round of applause there for the Bugler. Big game on our hands now, Tom. Colin Bay or Connors Key, do you see an upset? Well, in the Cup Day, you never know what, what can happen. Uh, those fans that we see in there in the picture will be really looking forward to this afternoon's encounter. Two strong teams, especially Connors Key at present in the Cymru Premier League. Their star man at the moment for Connors Key is for you. Well, I think just talking to the manager there, Neil Gibson, I think he's done a really good job with the big squad. And just looking at that line up there, obviously George Horan's got plenty of uh, experience, first in goal, six or seven clean sheets already this season. Hayes has been a shrewd appointment as well. And just looking at Colwyn Bay there, Woods, a keeper, plenty of Welsh. League experience for him. 
Dwayne Edwards scored here this last season and Kirby 24 up front he's a handful back after injury today so yeah game's really poison on edge to be honest Mark do you see him throwing the two wide men forward and having to go 4-3-3 I think both teams will be willing to uh, change the system during the game just see Matty Hill there youngster who joined from Ruthin in the summer Sam goals ready this season a lot of potential and there's Michael Wilde again 10 goals and there's a lot you can say about Michael Wilde that hasn't been said before just like vintage wine it just gets better with age absolutely Tom and there's Bryn Markham Jones in charge one of the top officials in the Cymru Premier League taking charge of what is one of the big cup ties on JD Cup Day round three as a result from last night two results from last night by the way uh, TNS went through 2-1 against Coynarvon and congratulations to Kenna Darren Boys Club down in uh, Merthyr from the lower leagues who defeated uh, Tri Thomas Bluebirds 1-0. Congratulations. Yeah, good win for them. Good win for them, Mark. And I uh, remember commentating at Bangor City that game many few years ago. That Fantastic but, uh, with their turnout. There's Stephen Evans looking on, itching most probably to get on to try and defend this long throw. But Danny Holmes will fire in the first long throw. Plenty of experience, football league experience and serial Winner, Danny Holmes, in it goes. First header could be key, edge of the box. Shot off, Callum Morris just over. And Tom, that one incident there, Connors Key, they set up for second ball all the time on the edge of the box. That's why Callum Morris got the volley off. Yeah, if, if, if Steve Evans here, he'd be well aware of this. You've got to attack the first ball, so he did really well there. But as that ball drops on the edge of the box, you've got to be closing him down quicker than that. Otherwise, you're asking for trouble. And, you know, Callum Morris... He has been noted for his goals from midfield and giving him free efforts like that. He's asking for trouble. Horan gets his first header of the afternoon. I'm sure we'll keep a count on them. Bratley, Callum Bratley. I was lucky enough to watch Connors Key last week play against Pontypri, Tom. And they didn't half play well. They won 5 0, and Michael Wilde was an inspiration. And he wins the first header again there. Chance for early on for Hayes. Hayes, it's 1 0. It's a minute gone in the game. 1 minute 41 seconds. And Mike Hayes is again on the score sheet. It was what they would have talked about in the change rooms. Watch the long ball to Wilde. Watch the knockdown. And watch Hayes running off him. Yeah, 1 0, Connors Key. Mark, shocking defending straight away. Ball comes in from the right hand side. Holmes, defender, gives Michael Wilde a five yard start there. Platt, it is. Cyril gets beaten on his blind side. Two absolutely horrendous defensive mistakes there already. I tell you one thing though, well taken goal by Michael Hayes though. Done well, came on the blind side. But both those centre halves there were at fault. Platt initially, Cyril the second time. Look, I mean, Mark, that is far, far too easy. And that's a difference maybe, you know. Well, stepping up this afternoon you know playing in the Cymru North I'll tell you this Tom, for Stephen Evans Halloween was a couple of weeks ago he had been practicing that all all week to defend that and that's the softest goal he would have given away all season but it's cup tight it's early days and it's good for everybody who's on not on either side of these two teams we might have a real good game on our hands now let's hope Colin Bay show some spirit yeah, like so their fans are at present. James Kirby there, showing some intricate skills on the edge of the box. Throws a foul from John Disney. Yeah, good footwork. John Disney just leaves his foot there. Now, they'd be looking to hit back really immediately here. Colwyn Bay after a, be a disappointing start to that game for them. Without a shadow of a doubt. Tom McCready, plenty of football league experience. He's on the free kick. Of course, the Nomads haven't let a goal in for a few games now. First header goes over the bar. You know, Tom, just before that goal, by the way, I was about to tell you how well Michael Wilde played last week against Connors Key. And before the game, I was telling, saying to you, he's, he's the most sought-after centre-forward in this Cymru Premier League. He has been for about the last 10 years, aerially. Do you think he would have been worth a front sweeper in front of him to stop his jump as easy as that? On no. a set play? No, the thing, the thing is, Mark, if you're marking a centre forward that's really good in the air, you first of all got to, I mean, George Horan showed that straight away today with Kirby. He grabs his shirt. Yeah. You've got to be that close to him so he can't jump against you. Giving him a five yard start, you've got no chance because he times his jump so, so well, does 
Michael Wilde, and he uses his body, his upper body strength as well. Disney again, they'll go back to front early. And would it be a little bit surprised that Evo didn't play a five here to start, you know, and play a sweeper to get in behind them two sort of knockdowns? But what a start for the Nomads. Made every semi final in the last five years. So the Welsh Cup record is tremendous at the moment. Nash, Ben Nash made a fine move from Flint in the summer. Danny Holmes, you can't give Danny Holmes that amount of time on the ball to set that up like that. Handball. Unbelievable. We'll take a second look at this. Wilde is asking for handball. Well, the referee's given a foul against uh, Michael Wilde, but it was a handball by Platt. If he doesn't give uh, a foul, it's a penalty. Danny the, Holmes with all Mark, the time in the world. Mark, the thing is, you, you know before the game they're going to play right to left. <laughs> That's never a foul either. Wow, I tell you what, they may have got away with it in there. Arrows won in. Great defending there from Callum Bratley. He tracked back really well. Looking after Dylan Allshawn. So you, you, you ought to say, Mark, stop the cross. Stop it at source. They know Danny Holmes, so one of the strikers, like also probably down that left-hand side, should be stopping that cross. Well, as we said, we don't want to go on too much about it because we'll let the viewers make their own mind up, but you've got to stop the ball into the box against Connors Key. Headed away again by Bratley. Back in the mix, chance here. Oh, Sean hooks it up. Headed away by Nash. Goalkeeping coach Neil Ebrell at Connors Key. Tom, I don't know whether you've met him. He did come along with us with the Wales Seed last year. He is a fanatic for clean sheets. He is the he's the maddest footballer I've ever met. A football man about clean sheets and is paying off at Connors Key. Well, if you're not conceding goals, Mark, you more than likely winning football matches. John Disney won't move far out of that centre spot. He's, I think he's taken over the role of uh, Harren. Danny Holmes. Danny Holmes knows it was the centre midfielder who's gone to Flint, who never moved up to the centre circle. Wide of the mark. Yeah, certainly uh, Michael Hayes there. Hayes, I think that's 103 go 102 goals for him, is it? Took it well, by the way. Outside of his right foot, he just edges it past the goalkeeper. From his point of view, it's a great finish. Neil Gibson. Yeah, what a week it's been for Neil Gibson. Yeah, what a start, by the way. Man of the month, contract, new contract, and uh, goal in the first minute. Can't go any, can't get any better than that, can it? <laughs> Wild again, first header, so important. I just think that whoever is playing as the as the holding midfielder for the Baymen could stand in front of Wild and stop his jump because again he's in there just waiting for it. Holmes, long throw. Danny Holmes will bomb up again. Uh, uh, they, the procession goes forward. Horan, they got some big men in there. Nash, Wild takes some defending. By the way, yeah. I to be honest, I like Nash as well. He attacks the board really well for a defender. Yeah, he's a young centre half with a good future in this league. Danny Holmes. Ex Newport County, Tranmere, bombs the throw in. First header. Michael Wild. Just got to settle now. Colwyn Bay, just stay in the game. I'm sure Stephen Evans knows how vital the second goal would be at the moment. With only eight minutes on the clock, I think he'd take a one nil at half time, Tom, yeah. after that early goal. Yeah, but sometimes, you know, conceding early isn't a bad thing. You've got plenty of time to get yourself back into the game. Key is not to concede another goal. And not to give the ball away as cheaply as they've just done there again. Well, their record is fantastic. They've not lost in 17 games since the one nil against TNS in the semi final we did last year at Rill. That stayed one nil. Holmes, he's got a close stop the cross again. White ball, oh, they're waiting in there, Brat. 
in it goes first header that's a better defensive header away grass just a little bit uh, long if you ask me Tom yourself yeah I agree Mark Holmes looks for Horan this time Horan will compete in there gets the knockdown wild again it's not rocket science when you're playing Connors key they can play attractive football when they like but if they can get away with just knocking the long ball into Wildy and company they'll do it all day yeah absolutely that was George Horan there heading that one down for Michael Wilde just couldn't get it. his foot over the ball there to get a control on that volley last season's quarter final don't forget Connors key nil calling Bay too so they'll be looking for revenge here Sam Hart great career Sam Hart the Bangor City and our wonderful Bangor City team what a flick on that is all shown has plenty of pace Danny Holmes good pressure there from the all Sean Dylan all Sean ex Flint and Wrexham Cymru North player of the year by the way a yeah. year ago showed some real pace there against Danny Holmes Holmes taking no chances there hooks it away yeah, gives thought, away a corner that's, that is just the way they defend you can see why they keep clean sheets look at that now they're 1-0 ahead just scored 11 men back in their box Connors key ball in side netting given is another corner interesting Firth wanted the goal kick Tell you one thing, man, it's a good delivery there. Plenty of pace on it into that near post. Can you get a hand to it? Well, referee says he has, so the second corner is given. Right into the mixer, Firth punches clear. X Rangers and Tartic Thistle. McCready in. Horan. Bright sunshine at D side. Hayes, the team get the throw in. Some big games in the cup again this afternoon. This is the ten Welsh Premier teams in the la today's games. Tom, do you see uh, any of them under pressure or any upsets? Um, well, one's definitely going to go out, and that's either Newton or Aberystwyth. Uh, that's an old uh, Welsh Prem tie there. Headed back in. Cyril Holmes again just fires it long. I tell you, Mike Hayes, I've seen him coming in in the car park. Hayes, he's, he looks as absolutely as fit as he's ever looked, and he's really keen. I had a chat with him as well, said he's enjoying it. He's absolutely loving his football at the moment. And when you're a number nine plus 30 and you're getting a goal in a televised cup match in the first minute you're buzzing you just want the ball yeah absolutely and uh, definitely got an eye for goal and uh, he's been a shrewd acquisition by uh, Neil Gibson really shrewd still got that bit of pace about him which uh, always startles defenders yeah well, I think it's uh, for us to let the viewers know Tom they're as, they're as close as to being a professional club as anybody apart from TNS in this league aren't they Connors Key training yeah. three or four nights a week they, you know their, their staff is his sta there must be 11 members in their staff they really are switched on like a professional club Firth Wild Nash will do the basics at the back Ivan Tony just uh, Gives his answer to Gareth Southgate at the moment. 1 0 Brentford at Manchester City. Surprised to see him left out of the squad? I'm not really interested in the England squad, to be honest, Mark. I was, I was waiting about Wales. Marvellous answer, Tom. Marvellous answer. Nashi. Hooks it down and it's hooked away. You just saying, mentioning my case, he's just showed one bit of pace, puts that defender under pressure. He's got to give a throw in away in a dangerous place. they got Holmes who can, you know throw a long one into the box so you've got to defend Danny Holmes will cross sides and come over to the left hand side to fire the throw in they will never get bored with their tactics Connors Key has gone great success over the last couple of seasons two league titles a Welsh Cup win 
and their MG Cup win last season, 10-9 on penalties against Cardiff Met. First head to Horan, oh, right to the back post again. Williams. Callum Morris drives it across corner. Every corner is going to be a challenge this afternoon. Every long throw. Yeah, the Bay really struggling to clear these balls and to compete in the air against uh, a very, very strong offensive unit and what they've done Tom they've taken a bit of the sting out of the crowd as well with that early goal you know there's a couple of hundred of the Colwyn Bay fans here they're very quiet at the moment it's more like a good defending from Sully Badge falling off away from the ball Holmes will go back to Firth and Firth will do take a touch and try and go long again into the box gets away one there by the way Mark, I cannot believe how slow the Colwyn Bay defence was to get out there. Yeah, they're still in. The ball's gone in from Nash Holland, tries to win the first one again. As soon as the goalkeeper's scrambling across the pitch there, you'd have asked your defenders to press high out there, close the game down. Instead of that, it's far too easy. And again, another dangerous header back across the goal by the experienced George Horan. I mean, they'd be asking questions. Who is the fitness coach at Connors Key? You've got George Holland at 40, Mike Weld at 39. Oh, great ball in. Tremendous ball in. Headed away this time. And they're under pressure. There's no doubt now the Baymen. They just need to stick with this. Second goal could be critical. Harrington. He's having a superb season. Oh, just beats his man. Can he get the cross in? Not the type of cross he wanted. He's having a good season, he's there for the seconds as well. Long ball. Yeah, there was a ball to nothing there, Mark, unfortunately. Just need, to stay Hill in it. There. Just need to stay in it. This game, though, Colwyn Bay. The distance, Mark, between their strikers and the defensive four is 50 metres. Yeah, too, too, too big. Against the good side, they'll play through you, Mark, all afternoon. Horan fires went into Wild along the deck this time. Callum Bradley's a good player, always gets on the ball, tries to beat the man every time. He did well at Flint the last couple of years. Harrington, can he get the shot off? Great ball onside as well. Hayes, Bradley would have been a good goal had he bent it in, but he didn't. Gibson and Lee Jones, his assistant down the bottom, did turn away. But that was smart football, shows the other side of Connors Key's game. Yeah, absolutely. They can play. Hayes just leaves it there for Bradley. He tries to curl it into the far corner. No time taken from the goalkeeper to get the kick out. Hart not any long. Kirby will obviously try to get George Holland in one-on-one -on -one area so he can get a run at him. Hart back inside to Walshon. Keto Williams, plenty of experience in the Premier Premier with Cardiff, Met and Bangor. Plan did no. Down from the corner, strong tackle. Referee says free kick. Yeah, Harrington there, a little bit too quick there. Alex Downs, the right back, ex Chester, the supporters club player of the year last year for the Bay. I think the referee will have to hold this up a minute. I think. Um, Tom McCready is down with an injury. That'll be key to these as well. He's holding his knee. Yeah, they can't afford to lose him. He's there. Experienced. Yeah, he has skipper his... in the middle of midfield there. Has experience in places like Everton and Hibernian as well, so his experience will be vital to quite a young Bay team this afternoon. Yeah, Mark, we saw him last season, didn't we? When he, he orchestrated things in midfield for the Bay against uh, Cardiff Met. So fingers crossed, Tom, for every uh, Welsh player who's in our Cymru squad for this afternoon. Everybody's on tender hooks over the last, uh, for the next 90, min 90 minutes. Yeah, certainly uh, exciting times for Welsh football. First appearance since 1958 in the World Cup. Alan Ramsey got through 90 minutes last night, by the way. He's OK. Yeah, so well, that's, that's a positive. That's a really good news, that is, because 
we really will need those two, well, Joe Allen as well, if he can make it in those first two games. Incredible to see the scenes again this week of the Euro 2016, and it was just fantastic. They can recreate anything at all like that. For me, Tom, just getting there is fantastic. If they make the, the second phase, it's, it's, it's almost miracle-like for us, right? It's, whatever we do is fantastic. Yeah, I think you've got to be looking to get into the next phase, Mark, because there's no point going there or just to turn up to make the numbers up. I think, you know, Page will have definitely told his players. And I think what was great about US 2016 was we went there with a positive attitude, although we lost the first game as well. So, Ball in, headed away from Holland again. That's three headers from the back, Holland have headed away. Unchallenged, that can't happen. Evans has to put a man on Holland when it's knocked in there. Hart, he'll try to play around Connors Key and not play through the middle of him. The break could be on. Harrington gets it inside. Callum Morris, still one of the better midfielders in the Cymru Premier. Starting to get back amongst the goals as well. Cyril Bratley. Wild is in there. Wild. Oh, you'll be disappointed. He didn't get on target. He got in front of his marker. Bratley's popping up everywhere at the moment, Tom. Yeah. Michael Wild, he'll be really disappointed. He didn't hit the target there. Again, Cyril with a mistake in the left back position. Bratley with that early ball right across the six yard box. Really, and begging for Michael Wild to get a good touch on that. But a little bit of pressure on him by Christian Platt probably just put him off and Colin Bay have been in four semi-finals of this Welsh Cup but they've never reached a final club surely I would have thought I would have lost money on that I think I would have thought Colin Bay in all the history may have got to the Welsh Cup final at least once but it's four semi-finals they've played they played real in 1930 82-83 they lost to Swansea. Oh, Sean, good ball in this time. Great defending. It's more like you're asking for defenders to get there first, and that's one last gesture. Hart. First sustained little bit of pressure. Decent enough ball as well. Chance here for the fullback to get it in. I think if anything gonna, good's going to happen, it Looks like Olson's got a, a real good turn of pace about him on that left hand side. Chance to get in and out. Great ball across. Great defending from Horan. And he lets the other defenders know what he thought of their defending before he made the intervention. It's the second time they got in behind this bay defense, um, behind the Nomas defense. And again, Edwards. That's a disappointing ball. That final ball, so, so important in football. McCready comes out to take the corner. Whips it to the back post. Cleared away by the goal scorer, Mike Hayes. Back to the, uh, the surface, Tom. I watched the game last night. There are some football fanatics about. I went to watch Tenor Bond and Tapswell, under-19s. Played on 3G fast game I don't know what you think 3G's with a little bit of water on it it's just a quicker game now quicker game with it, the, the grass here today the ball f flashes off the 3G, it's a slower game on grass, unless you're at a Premier ground where there's a millimetre off, you know, off the deck great block Williams Decent enough ball, just runs out of play. I think Stephen Evans would be quite content the last five to ten minutes. They've settled, if you ask me, now Colin Bay. The yeah. early goal went against them. He's slowly getting back into the game, Mark. But you just feel they can, they can get picked off at any time. If you missed Wales every step to Qatar on S4C last night, don't worry. Get on UN's witty perspective of Wales World Cup qualifying campaign is available online and on your smart TV. It is also repeated on S4C at 10 o'clock on Monday night. 
Holmes. And like him there. Greedy. Gets his team up on and that's about three corners in the last five minutes and they really have uh, bounced back well now they'll be going be. If they could get a goal now, this would set this place alight. Just hear that crowd starting to stir again now, singing their songs. Yeah, four corners to one in favour of the away side. Probably McCready. tells the story of the last five minutes. Stand it up after it under. Horan, chance on the edge. Just didn't fall. take it as well as he would have wanted to. Ryan Edwards it was, and he has the ability to strike from distance. Yeah. Interesting for me, Firth. A lot of talk about him. Brilliant goalkeeper. He doesn't come. For, he hasn't come for nothing so far. When he came for one, he punched in. Said his six-yard box. This Tommy Holmes, oh, TNS. What a centre-back partnership that was. Tommy Holmes and Stephen Evans. International. Stephen Evans went on to be, and Michael Well played in the same team as them too. By the way, TNS is a tough place to go to now, Tom, as it was then. <laughs> You'd never have a foreign holiday on the strength of your uh, away wins at TNS, Tom, bonus, would you? <laughs> it was Barry Island for us every year. It just dropped off a bit, Connors Key. I think they're settling with what they got at the moment. Hill tries to spin Nash. Nash has done everything right so far in his defending, like you said at the start, Tom. He just gets tight on people. There's that out ball. Well, they don't want to let it happen again. I like McCree, Dimitri, he's a real calm player, isn't he? Yeah, well, his experience is vital, like we said at the beginning. Disney, back to Firth. They've got Gitter Williams playing in front of the two centre-backs, Mark. I'm not sure what kind of job he's supposed to do, because he hasn't really done nothing for me. I, for me, he's had to be get better a bit off, tighter. get a bit tighter on um, Callum Morris. Or get go back a bit and stand right in front of Wilde on the jump, he's an ex-centre-back as a, as a youngster as well, Kito he's a good footballer yeah, Callum Morris will just pass the ball around and set up, trying to set up the next cross into Wilde and company yeah, so the Bay they're not putting any pressure on, are they? I think they let Horan and the likes have it at the back Holmes they eventually will get out with a long ball, and that's the first one they've got to win or the next duel. Great header, that's more like it from the centre back. Platt. Don't forget last season we saw Colwyn Bay defeat Cardiff Met in a fantastic game. Horan. When you've let two goals in, Tom, in your last 12 games, or last. 10 winning games an early goal is a real bonus because you, you're going to think you can see the game out yeah absolutely Horan flat heads away again Williams is interested in the midfield for me Tom the young uh, twin, number 28 he's only 18 played for Wales Colleges last year to get in the Connors Key first team by the way he must have some decent future Harrington. Horan. It's a, like I said, Tom, it's like a two touch pitch. It's not like a one touch pitch where you can just visit off. I wonder, you know, did Neil Gibson ask for the grass to be long today? Well, maybe to suit their style, or maybe stifles Colwyn Bay's style of play. Who would like to play, you know, quick, attractive, fast football? Yeah, if you can remember, well, Andy Morrison's in uh, Sri Lanka, isn't he? So hopefully he's not listening. But I think he used to let the grass grow as long as he, as long as it could when they played TNS. You know, if you remember, there were, there were a few horses out there eating one day before we came here. Bratley again, Wild pulls off his marker. Williams gets in, can he take a touch and get it across? Great ball across, oh superb, superb from the youngster. We just spoke of him now, 18 years of age, he sets up the veteran. From an 18-year-old, 
to a 39 year old Williams great delivery wild just put the ball in the back of the net and that could be vital goal in this cup match yeah good approach play good layoff there Cyril again loses that 50-50 tackle and uh, Williams Josh Williams just sm smashes that really across the six yard box plenty of venom on it great first touch second touch goal mark Real it's haze it's haze by the way so, yeah it's haze the second goal yeah sorry for the mistake there Mike Hayes it was a look I thought it was Michael Wilde for me I can't blame the son because uh, one of our uh, gigantic superstars is st stood beside me Dylan Ebenezer and he's just pointed it out well they were trailing last week 2-0 at the Lloyds were the bay came back and won that game so a bit different opposition today but same task in front of them. We did speak about Mike Hayes being happy. He's back on the goal track and in a big way. And if somebody's going to set you up as easy as William, Williams did, what a fantastic setup from a youngster. Desire, when he went into the box to take the ball, going in with a, with a centre back? Well, yes, but I mean, to be fair, I mean, sort of, for the big centre half, Mark, he was like a, a schoolboy little tackle, wasn't it? I mean, he just brushed him aside, did Williams. You see that? I mean, you know, there's no strength in that tackle. But to be fair to Williams, he had the vision yeah. to whip that across with pace. Hayes nearly, yeah. his first has nearly let him down. Two bites of the cherry from Hayes. So that could be a vital goal. No? I mean, it would have to be something miraculous for Colin B to come back into this game now. Yeah, they definitely need something before half time, Mark. I mean, 2 0. You, you, you've been there, I've been there. You know, what does say at half time? Next goal wins it. But I think, you know, looking at uh, Connors Key's record so far this season, clean sheets, etc., this is a very, very big task for Steve Evans' men. Yeah, I watched, like I said last week, when they were 5 0 up against Ponte Pre Connors Key, they're still chasing down every ball they're the team who've got to work at the, at the top rate that's demanded by their managers the managers they've had in the past couple of years they had Morrison we all thought you know he made them work their socks off Craig Harrison wanted more and Gibson is exactly the same I think if you're in the Connors key team you've got to give 100% every game late challenge there which way is he going to give that one Interesting. I think it's just two players going, you know, for the ball there. There's a card out. I think he's going to uh, George Horan. Don't think it's Horan. I think he's going to give it to all Sean. Yeah. Interesting to see this one again. You're think, the VAR man, Tom. You know, I think all Sean. He really did go for the ball. Yeah, he didn't quite. Uh, wasn't the first class stamp, was well, it? The yellow card is out from the referee, so he's going to brandish it to one of them. The tension they want, both players are calling for the tension straight away, so they're pointing towards his, the mouth area. Off, off Keto Williams. Horan looks okay. He's a typical war horse, George Horan. Yeah, incredible that he's still playing at this level at the age of 40. So why doesn't the referee just brandish the yellow card? Oh, he caught him across the chest, didn't he, there? Yeah. George Oren. I don't think it's a foul by the lad, either. No, he no, I thought at the time he generally was going for the ball, which is the follow-through from George Oren, caught him across the chest. So he's going to get a, a yellow card for a size 10 in the chest off George Oren? Yeah. That's, that's bad luck for the youngster. And... Tommy, you and countless others have sung Amahoheed for 39 years, but since David Ewan sang it before the Austria match, at the beginning of the year, the song has had a new lease of life. Special documentary tomorrow night on S4C at 8 o'clock. We learn the history of the song and the incredible journey it's been on to reach number one. By the way, straight after this programme is the boys of 58 telling the story of the players in the 1958 squad, which you were part of. No, sorry, Tom. No. <laughs> Careful now, Mark. Not that old yet. Got a few years to carry up, catch you up, haven't I? Colwyn B. 
the purple and blue flag against the nomads and the nomads flag is winning at the moment by two goals to nil in quite a comfortable afternoon so far yeah they had a you know 10 minutes patch probably the bay when they were on top territorially but never really challenged Firth Firth again Wild is the target But it hasn't been one of them games where Connors Key have absolutely, like you said, that to be 2 0 down, Evans will be disappointed, I think, because the goalkeeper, I don't think he's had to make a save yet, has he? No, I was just going to say that. It's just little things that probably Connors Key have done so much better. They know what they're doing. The platform is Holmes getting it right back, knocks it as far across the other side to a bit of foul there. To Wildy, Wildy heads it down and the yellow card will come out again. Your John Disney looks to be the recipient of it this time. He walks away, no arguments from Disney. The tackle again is on McCready, I think. Yeah, late, just catches him on the ankle. Yeah, Neil Gibson's not very happy. He's had a couple of words in front of me here with uh, Steve Evans. I think if you see the replay. It'll, you'll find out that it was uh, he caught him on the left ankle. That's why Disney run away without arguing with the referee. Decent ball in. Again, Bratley hooked away by Hayes. Hayes will surely be looking for a hat trick this afternoon. Williams stands it up first in the sunshine. Just takes it. Would it be a third goal in the next nine minutes? No, Tom. It would be game set and match, I think. Morris. Nash. Experience in the Connors Key team is unbelievable. And what Gibson is starting to do is bring youngsters through alongside the experience, like Carrington, like Nash, like Williams. It's always a good way, good way of management. Bringing in youngsters with experienced players is key to having a good team. Yeah, certainly. Ball in again. Good clearance from Hart. Downs, Alex Downs. Hill. Flies around the back, Disney will always cover around the back. Callum Morris just uh, casually getting his passes off the day, Tom. He's, he's the king ping in the centre of the midfield, four corners key. Yeah, Disney does a really good job. As the holder? Yeah, as a holder. Moves about, knows what he's doing. Downs tries to drive in. McCready's on the edge now. Can he get a pass off? Great ball off. Just keeps it in play. Kirby. That's more like it. I'm sure more aggression. May have given the free kick away. Yeah, Gibson asked for the free kick. Yeah, good defending there by my Hayes. I like when I like when strikers, you know, run back 30, 40 meters, doing their bit for the team. I can, I, I, that strikes me as well as you know the strength and depth that they've got here at the moment. Connors Key, look at their bench, probably their best player this season for me. I've seen him a few times. Stratulus, on the bench, get, yeah, that's can't right. Get, can't get in the team. Aaron Edwards not even in the squad today because of injury. They've got a strong squad, and I think H Harry Franklin, you know, yeah, just looking to stay yeah. on the tails end of TNS, try and make it a competitive league. As of yet, TNS. And not failing at all, by the way. One point dropped all season. That's an incredible performance. Nash first headed again. Hart. Michael Wilde leads the chase. Holmes just plays it in. Yeah, he tried to play that in blind, didn't he? But it was the right idea. Just didn't quite execute it as he'd have liked then. So if you're Stephen Evans, Tom, going in at half time, you're going to coaching staff. I think Evans is going to say, 
everything that had happened, everything's gone wrong for us. I may have warned you at the start about dealing with a long ball and stopping crosses. And the second one, just a basic 50 50. The centre back, Siddle's lost out to Williams, and he's put put the cross in. So they were goals which could have been stopped. Well, certainly both the centre halves are at fault for the first goal. And the second one, again, centre halves, you know, half out of tackle on the edge of the box. Williams has, you know, driven the ball across. Easy goal for Michael Hayes. And the stats don't really add up well for Colin Bay either. Last season's home record for Connors Key, their average home wins were 56%. This season's average home wins, 100%. And at present, it doesn't look like changing. Well, you can't get better than that, can you, 100%. So whatever Steve Evans says at half-time, you're saying he's got no chance second half. He'd have to be an incredible turnaround, wouldn't he? Yeah, absolutely. But this is a cup tie, Mark. You never know. Dreams are all about... McCready, he did say, is uh, the main man for the bait, and he has really battled well. All wild, what a knockdown, almost a chance again. May have been a high jumper before he was a footballer, Michael Wilde, you know. Does never lo doesn't lose many, Tom. No. Cyril. And against inexperienced defenders, Mark, <laughs> he's an ab you know. It's that first leap. Yeah. Comes away from an angle. He never jumps dead straight. No, he, no, he, he comes across. He always comes always across. Always comes across. across. Yeah. And thing is, if you're a defender, you've got to go there with him. Or stop his stop his jump. Well, yeah, you, but you have to go mark him, Mark. You just don't let him run across you. Colin B, a couple of big games coming up. Holly Head at home, Gressford away. In a history of um, some ex Welsh Premier managers, still current Welsh Premier managers, of course. Colin Caton was there for a long time. Alan Morgan, Craig Hogg, Frank Sinclair of Chelsea was also a manager at Colwyn Bay. Horan, Holmes. Firth, the out ball, as it's called. That's more like it from Cyril. Disney. Williams again competing with McCree. Horan. Yeah, John Disney just almost acts Tom as a fifth defender. He's just playing 10 or 15 yeah. yards in front of the four. Yeah. Does the job really well. Firth. Wild, showing his skills. Great ball down the line from Danny Holmes. Bratley, corner just before the half time. And that's a perfect example of how simple Konoski make it. Give the ball out to the right centre back who goes to a, as a right winger, right back. Bratley, who is, is the right sided. Well, for Midf me, midfield player. For me, that's what Colvin Bay should be doing to Connors Key, just turning you. Yeah. You know, they got experienced defenders, but there's not a lot of patience in the Connors Key defence. So if I'm playing against Connors Key, I'm going to turn you the way Danny Holmes just turned Colvin Bay. Just put it in behind and get runners after it. And the fastest player they got is all Sean. I put him right up front, up against uh, Williams. George Horan. Puts it right on the spot. Headed away, Disney. Great ball, pick the man out. Says Adam has a, have another goal. Edge of the box, Bratley. Save from the goalkeeper. It's important that to keep it at 2-0 is vital. With one and a half minutes left of the first 45. Yeah. Good vision by Williams. He, he's very calm on the ball, Williams. He picked out the run of Bratley there. Manchester City have equalised against Brentford. It's one all. Phil Foden, somebody who's going to the World Cup amongst the goals. Get all your goals now, Phil. Not none against Wales, please. Downs again, battling forward. Callum Morris in midfield and John Disney always seem to help out their fullbacks. 
Williams just plays in in McCready with the first touch Williams hooks away what a difference a goal would make now just before half time for Colwyn Bay Edwards Sam Hart that's Holland that's Holland telling you half time's on the way he, he does not worry about anybody saying you can't play this way or you can't play that way his team are 2 nil up safety first policy and there's nothing wrong with it Tom and Michael Wilde steals a foul it'll be half time 2-0 yeah George can tell you you can't score when the ball's in the crowd Ryan Edwards a little bit unfortunate there big job at half time Stephen Evans big job do you go in and do you get over aggressive with him or do you go in and just say a couple of mistakes we have to deal with it two minutes added from the fourth official yeah the latter mark go in I wouldn't be too harsh on them Colwyn Bay are a good side second in the Welsh Prem you know haven't lost at home Connors key, yeah. yeah so yeah I'd say let's uh, you know keep it 2-0 first 20 minutes second half see if you can pin something give it a go in the last 20 minutes Firth the big men up again Wild Horan just putting pressure on unbelievable it just gets turned beyond again that's the two headers they won in the space of five yards again and the answer what we're we just talking about from Stephen Evans will be we've got to win more first balls and seconds first header well the ball bounces twice there <laughs> almost three times yeah Callum Morris really unfortunate there challenge over in the corner from Williams referee says play on ball in behind that's a better ball in behind flag unfortunately for Colvin Bay but yeah. you say they've been in fantastic form this year Colvin Bay can count them out if they could just get a goal for the second half in the second half they're still in the game it's only 2-0 nothing's impossible in the cup no but looking at you know at the first half, half statistics and first had, I think two shots straight at him and really they haven't really created a good opening so it didn't really all go well from the second period but who knows Firth headed away by Cyril Disney every second ball that comes out Connors Key are always set up for it to get on the second ball was knocked back if they don't win the first it's just the way they've been Andy Morrison started it with them six or seven years ago and they've kept on like it it's a flatter kick this time half time whistle blown at the Teesside Stadium Neil Gibson will be the happier of the two managers as a brace from Mike Hayes gives Connors Key a 2-0 lead at half time look forward to seeing you again in the second half Fix Sprint, a knobby pale droid and Esperorek.
Screw Fix Sprint, a Nobby Pale Droid and Esperorek. Ar Benoth Nos, Cupan Cymru, mae hefyd yn Benoth Nos y cofio wrth i geu cona a fai Colwyn. Roi Teir Nged, Cyn y Gem. Trydedd rownd, ac o fewn dwy funud, roedd i'n gol i ddim. Y ffefrynau, yn y madiad, ar y blaen, Mike Hayes yn taro. Bai Colwyn, di gwneud i gorau wedi brwydro, ond Hayes eto. Ar gwaith syml, i wneud i'n ddoi i ddim ar yr egoil. Na'r sefyll fyddwn i'n yn yr heilwyn. Ar lan y dyfrdwy, Sean Moredes sy'n cadw cwmni i fi, Sean di bod yn cadw cwmni i Nick Amalt yn y pwynt sylwebu hefyd. Mae'n anodd fan hyn i unrhyw dîm. Bai Colwyn, di profi hynny pnawn maes. Ffordd yn ôl iddyn nhw, Sean? Well, os, os ydych chi'n trydydd wedi mynd mewn, wedi'n fi'n credu fod i'n uh, game over fel maen nhw'n gweud, ond dwi gol ddim, mae'r gol nesaf fel maen nhw'n gweud, mor, mor bwysig. Ie, yeah, mae'n maen nhw'n i weld y gol, ie. Yeah. Ac eisiau dechrau yn gadarn, ddim gadael unrhyw beth mewn maen. Ond dim i'n dwy funud ar y cloc, a mae hyn yn digwydd. Do, a to, mi eich defnyddio nhw'n dactig ma, da i'n ei dri gwaith y beil hir gael Holmes a wedi'n ei drych yn wild. A'r cyffwrdd lleia gan Hayes uh, ar yr achlysur yma, ond fi Steve Evans fel uh, cyn um, centre a phil pobl, bydd e mor siomedig a amddiffyn Cyril am y ddwy gol yn y marni. Ie, yeah, mae Mike Wilde, ni'n gwybod bod yn heneiddio, ond sawl gwaith chi'n ei gweld yn ei na a draws y blynyddoedd. Mae fe'n feistr yn y sefyllfa yna. Wedi, a, a to maen nhw'n chwarae i'r dactig. Uh, Holmes ar bêl hir, Ma- Wilde yn ennill popeth yn yr awyr, a wedi'n gobeithio am y brwysio'n, a dyna'r beth heis. Ne, mae fe'n gweithio. So beth, beth am Fai Colwyn wedyn ni? Beth ydy'r yr ymateb nesaf nhw ar ôl mynd ar ei hôl hi? Fe gysyn nhw gyfnod, so ad lle gysyn nhw droi'n y dri um, cornel uh, a'r dacteg fy'n enno troed y, y gol geidw ar y dan pwysedd. Lle nhw wedi newid y dacteg na, edrych chi'n mynd ba- falle bach fwy allan, ond uh, dyna, dyna'r unig uh, cyfleion heblaw am hon na'r cwmpon gyredig uh, i Bai Colwyn. Uh, dyma'r unig gyfle o wir uh, siawn sydd yno. Ond so beth, pam chi'n dod yma a gweld tîm eraill, dim Bai Colwyn yw'r cyntaf ar ôl a'i gael pnawn anodd fyn hyn ar lan y dyfdwyn ddiweddar. Ja, to'n maen nhw ond wedi ilddi o beth dwi gol fyn hyn, um, felly to'n maen nhw'n dîm o'r anodd i, I dorri lawr. Yn wedi gyda'r tri yn y cefn, to'n maen nhw'n fath o policy insurance policy, lle os dim ffordd trwyddo i dîm e. Yr unig ffordd felly lawr rasgell chwyth man y cyflymder gyda Bai Colwyn fyna. Ie, yeah, a wedyn ath un ddwy wrth gwrs. Heis ar ail, uh, dwi'n creu bod i'n sgorio llawer rai haws na hon. Mae ah, ddim gwenu ar hon. <laughs> Williams i ddechrau, fore teg, am chwreio'r hwn, ond yn i genwyd oedd. Ne, un digwyth yn credu, felly, felly ni'n arbennig o dda. Um, cael y croesiaid mawn i Hayes, gwybod yn union lle ma fe, a Hayes gyda'r cyffyrddiad cyntaf, yn neud i o'r eitri o pyd o sgorio. Ond uh, mae fe'n gweld y, y peth y doniol yn y... Ie, yeah, mae'n anodd yn amlwg nawr i ddod nôl. Ond mae yna fflachiadau... Ond bai Colwyn, maen nhw'n disgwyl yn sgorio goliau tymor yma. Maen nhw'n gallu dod o, fi'n gwybod mae'n lefel arall yn erbyn cei cona. Ond, yr hen ystrydeb, gol nesa yn bwysig? Yn hollol, gol nesa yn holl bwysig. Ie, fyddys yn nôl o ddwy gol i'n ddim yn erbyn llan edlos wrth os dweitha, ond yeah. fel fi'n gwybod ti'n trio gweud. Dim fyd yn erbyn llan edlos. Dim fyd yn erbyn llan edlos, ond mae tîm da gyda, gyda cei cona fyny. Ie, yeah, dafs yn llan edlos. Dwi'n meddwl sy'n gwneud yr un peth yn cei cona. Gewn i weld. Um, mae'r rhywbeth mawr ar y gorwel. Cwpan y byd, wrth gwrs, mae'n rhain i drafod hynny. Mae sioned gyda dyn i hun, Malcolm Allen. Diolch yn fawr, Dylan. Ie, mae'r hael yn tywynnu gymos fel bydd yn neud yn Qatar. A Malcolm Allen, dwi blynedd yn ôl i heddi. Na throb peig cymryd reolaeth dros Gymru. Am y tro cyntaf mewn gêm gyfeillgar yn erbyn yr unol daleithau. A wthnos i nos lun y gêm agoriadol yng Nghwban y Byd. Mae pobl ddim teimlo yn real iawn yn sydyn reit, nid yn gyfeill. Mae o eich dros bethau mnos rwan i fi, ac mae'n mae'r nyrs, mae'r bwts y ffais, a jyst yn barod, yn eisiau ar fy rob ar ôl fod enwi'r garwan, garfan o sy'n sôn, o ddond eich hun, gwan da fyddai fo, dwi jyst eisiau nath yn y ffordd rwan, dwi jyst paratoi, dwi jyst y rocau ti'n gilydd, pawb yn holl iach gobeithio, a wedyn jyst cyrraedd yn gwtar, a wedyn paratoi mae gen gynt yno. Well, penoth nes fath yna, oedd ni o fyn i o TJ ddewis i garfan ei fyn i Qatar. Nawr ni wedi gofyn ti i ddewis, yr un ar ddeg bydd y tîn licio gweld yn dechrau yn erbyn yr unol daleithau. Pwy i ti wedi dewis, Marc? Nath o dechrau, uh, nath o fynd ddweud dechrau sos, a nath o fynd ddweud heddiw. A dwi'n newid yn meddwl eto, so mae'r pump yr y cefn, fel da ni'n gyfarfu ddweud efo'r system rwan, fel felly Mepham, uh, Joe, uh, Joe Rowdon, ac gan ni'n i Ben Davies, ac gan ni'n i ddau, uh, Wing Baxdoes efo Conor Roberts, un ochr, a Nico Williams, 
Ramsey with the Dine East, that we do in the Ramsey. Oh, my not. Sanneben mit die Ista, da nur dein in Ogren, die mit die Skopje, mein Jahr, und dann wird die Mittel, wenn er Joe Morell und Olive Owen und Double Horan Gasson und Portsmouth, wird die Schritt, Daniel James, die noch hat, Gareth Bell, aber den Kiefer Mord, die mit dem in der Game Gunsena. In die Karte ist Option, Guano, die den der Bell, die Double Bell, die Bunny, aber den Kalabrius schon ein Gumpasso. Tim Harry Wilson, Tim Brennan Johnson, Pope und Quinn, die Schuhe, Rattan, Mel, Pay, Mona, Chad, und dann etzo. Und so wie die mit den Neuen, ein Mittel, etzo. Und der Pay, Pussy, die Pader Option, und Gunna, Rob Page, kennen gern. On each just a minute, Owen, you got an option and I thought, oh, the Aravang, Pummer Boy Sigma, when I'm any voting up on a bit. And Verthal, I read to what the dear in our decks and the other game can say, them a mint, he and he's a group, he's a Margarvan and I kid, when I get a net of her mind, when we get the kid, Gully Dewey's, sound hurt them in the mouth. Okay, cup on a bit, my fever teach, I need to move. A Mark Smithshire with Rob Page and Uretha Nervous Penothnos and that round all out game and could be thumb the man of Yadi Corey with Kimri. Of course, Danny, then ever team got any, Danny, talk to Tolman and didn't say snake there, ever in new team in the Bidma. Um, I'd be more than he had with Ma, Blenoritha, Ara Ramsey, Gareth Bell, the board, I'm covered a bit, I saved another one. A Mark Stioch and Vaur Tanessa and I will tea for the Nien Qatar, Dioch and Vaur Am de Gumniti. Well, a team Kartrev, Kay Connors, Eid Ara Blano, Doi Goli, then Dioch, Igolia, Mike Hayes, Oisna Fordnol, Eden Wellwear, by Colwyn, and Lenny Finnebos, and all the regular. Screw Fix Sprint, a Nobby Pale Droid, and Esperorek.
screw fix sprint a knobby pale droid and esperorek Toys and all that's on each other, the Rounds Cup on Cymru and Calisalu. Penothmos a ma ar echav pointier i ddod. Noslin, digon ohoni nhw hefyd. Han er awdi nawr. Eto hefyd nhw'n sawr. Cofiwch. A wedyn ni, gem penothmos nesa ac am gem. O, stod yn glasur, pan mae pen o bont yn cwrdo'r seintiau newydd. A dyna sydd i ddod nos a dod nesa. Just kin, cwpan y byd. Ac wrthi ni fynd yn ôl at ein tîm sylwebu. Y cwestiwn yw, wrth ffordd yn ôl. Er team of Massy Nilla, the by Colwyn, now with Yada in the new or Horsh Fanalion, you'll have Malcolm Allen, Shomer Edith and Ovid, and Homni Nick Farry. Welcome back to the D side stadium. Connor's key, the substitute there being made by Colwyn Bay. It looks like Thomas Creamer has come on for McCready, the experienced Everton and Hibernian player has gone off may have been that tackle in the first period Tom and Stephen Evans obviously thinking priority for the season is to win the Cymru North so he's most probably taken his best player off in case of any more injury yeah certainly uh, you wouldn't want a long term injury to your captain and probably most influential player you've got He's the one who's been influential amongst the goals this season so far. James Kirby got eight goals, but hasn't had many chances in the first period. Can Colwyn Bay turn this game around? And ask some questions of Connors Key. Bratley working hard again against Dylan Orshawn. Can they make a bright start? Screamer. He's come on and seen early action with the ball. Three touches in the first minute of the second period. Stephen Evans asking uh, where any spare balls there. Obviously, with his team being 2 0 behind, and I have to back in there, by the way. This is top level game. You can't have teams waiting for balls to be added. What was the rule, Tom, that came about a few years ago about balls being around every 30 yards of the outside of the pitch. Well, yeah, plus the fourth official should have a spare ball as well. Standards have to be set and kept up. Top-class game in Wales. Can be going to the uh, World Cup in a couple of weeks' time. Hart whips the ball across, headed away by Nash. Harrington. Just playing and out, Guito Williams gets on it, Edwards, very quiet in the first period, Ryan Edwards. A player of a l loads of ability, scored a screamer of a goal year last year when they defeated Connors Key. Sam Hart. Hart goes past Williams this time, it's a good run from Sam Hart and a decent ball in as well. Well played the left back, taking the game to Connors Key. Firth bounces it down, hooked away by Disney. He hasn't looked comfy, has he, this afternoon, Firth, somehow? Well, for a man who's had, I think, something like letting two goals in his last ten games, to be honest, no. It's been a positive start from Colwyn Bay. Yeah, exactly what the game wanted, exactly what the Col Colwyn Bay wanted. And he just gets let down then, trying to build up a bit of momentum. More like it from the Colwyn Bay fans trying to rose their team into action. Edwards, number of ex TNS players out on this pitch, it has to be in the sixes or sevens. Hart, Sam Hart. Edwards goes inside. Great ball in. Holmes comes across and wins the first header and let the ball go through and out the first. Comes off his line and gets there first. Just found it hard going. Kirby there. Number 24. Steve Evans. 
What yeah. do you think? What do you think he said at halftime, Mark? I, well, it's two ways, it, to be honest, Tom. Like I said, I asked you what he might go in and say. I think I might have been a bit harsher and said, "Look, boys, it's a massive occasion for us. We are doing well in the league, but don't let our fans down, especially on individual things like 50-50s and graft. We've got to have more." Edwards drives away. A small like it. Bratley decides not to go back on this surface and just hooks it away. But it is a more promising start from Colvin Bay. Yeah, certainly. Come good, on. Good positive run there from Ryan Edwards in midfield. Just that final ball. Edwards. Great ball in again from Hart. Harrington comes across and wins the first header. Just shoved in the back a little bit by the winger. Ken McKenna, legend of our league, pointing things out there. He's most probably pointing out I would have uh, bashed him or I would have bashed him. <laughs> Tough character. You just said, I'm better than uh, Michael Wilde. <laughs> <laughs> what a great character. Ken McKenna, legend at TNS, legend of the Cymru Premier League. Wilde. McKen is the type of uh, person I think would have had a few words at half time. <laughs> yeah, a few harsh words, Mark, yeah. Stay away, Ken. <laughs> you, oh, he's got, I can't wait to ring him up and tell him to watch the highlights on Scotty on Monday evening. <laughs> he's going to be gutted. Doesn't, know, doesn't need to go to the dentist for a while, does he? <laughs> no. Holmes. Strange start from Connors Key. Williams. To try to play around Edwards. Ed Ryan Edwards has started the second half really well. Edwards. Nash just turns out, cleans his line to call the Connors Keyway. I don't think Neil Gibson will be happy with the start from his team. No, his body language on the touchline suggests that as well, Mark. Creamer tried to whip it across, just got to keep possession for a while. Don't get too impatient. Holmes, great ball on this surface from Danny Holmes. Callum Bratley would be willing runners up front, just wanting to receive it. Disney had the chance then. Oh, first touch was important then, the winger was in. Can the Diag be on here, Danny Holmes? Michael Wells on the far post again, lurking. Gets the challenge in. If he wasn't going to win it, he got the challenge in on the shoulder. Yeah, Stratless is coming on here. I wouldn't surprise if Williams comes off here. Yeah, the youngster. Yeah. Disney. Holmes. I mean, when you're a football fan, when you're a football fan, Tom, Connor's key to, to be fair to him, like I said, have scored lots of goals this season. No, it's not fantastic, but keeping clean sheets, it's an art. I'd rather be following a club who scores goals, be like the old uh, Kevin Keegan days at Newcastle when they were scoring 40 and then in 39 maybe, but clean sheets wins leagues. Yeah, definitely. You always look at any team that wins any league and invariably they got the best goals against column. Edwards. Fires went out to all, Sean. Harrington was never going to lose that battle in the air. Williams back inside. Cyril. Compared to the cup game of last year, Tom, that we did against Cardiff Met, that Cyril and Platt had excellent games, if I can remember, Mark and Adam Roscoe and the like. There you are, second half possession, Colwyn Bay 58 possession. Overall for them, possession 56%. So they've competed well in the possession stakes. Here is Stratulis. Substitution will be made, I think, before the throw goes in. There's a good call from himself. Thomas Young, Josh Williams going off. He'll be pleased. He gets an assist. And his team are leading 2 0 at the moment. And he's just had. I think he, he 15 minutes. A lot. 
he learned a lot of marks today. And that's, you know, it's all player development. Well, if you're keeping somebody like Ryan Stratulis out of the side at the moment, then Harry Franklin, Chris Owens, Paulo Mendes, you're doing well. Ball across, chance, you know. Pulls it back. Stratulis will get an early. Fires the ball forward. His first touch was almost Beckham like. Couldn't have been 70 yard pass. But Connor's key, Tom, are so adapted, just sitting in. They don't worry if teams come at them because they're so good at defending in numbers. Morris, Stratulis, great ball. What a way to open. Ooh, oh, as he carried through. Referee has a look. How does. Or what does the goalkeeper make of it? I'll tell you for one thing, I've never seen, I don't think ever seen, Mike Hayes make a dirty challenge. I love the way the, the goalkeeper has taken that, by the way. You've seen many a goalkeeper would have rolled over for that. Yeah. Well, both players had to go for it, that's for sure. He slips. Yeah, he, he definitely slips. slips. And crashes into the keeper, yeah. And comes second best. <laughs> he comes second best, I think, in, uh, in one department anyway. That's a painful blow. He is struggling there, my keys. He'll be uh, singing the high notes tonight, Tom. It is a hell of a clash in the end. Wham. You can see what he was thinking of doing. He was thinking of getting there first and skipping around the goalkeeper, wasn't he? The keeper did really well. If Hazy does get the hat-trick, Tom, it'll be a painful hat-trick for him after that collision. Uh, he won't mind that. The pain if he gets a hard trick. Could be a suggestion of handball here as the ball is played across by the substitute Creamer. Creamer with the cross. Where where is it? Well, I think they're just saying George Horan, maybe. Well, it is isn't um, wasn't in an unnatural position, was it? V8. Here it comes. Just flashes it across. Horan, left hand, obviously, we're looking at. Well, not for me. Nor for me. Producer comes in our ears, Tom, and says, not for me as well. That's 3 0. <laughs> 4 0. <laughs> Assistant producer behind us. Mike Hayes. That's a pretty emphatic decision then. Yeah. Winners for the Welsh Cup. Can the likes of uh, Connors Key, can the likes of Bala trouble TNS in this year's competition? Yeah, definitely. One off games, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Of course. One uh, mention, Tom, I think we, we will both know the lad and I think we can wish him a bit of good luck. Lee Kendall takes over today at Barry, Barry Town. Big club, Barry Town. I was going to ask you there who's. Uh... Oh, great spin from Alshaw. Goes round Harrington, Harrington. Shows good strength though, Harrington, and wins the second battle. Corner given, well played. Extremely well played. Yeah. Alex Downs there. It's the fullback, the overlapping yeah. fullback Downs, yeah, it was a yeah. brilliant run from him. We'll go back to Kendall in a minute, Tom. Could they get a goal here? No, Colwyn Bay. Not the greatest of corners, but it's a chance. Great save from Firth. It was a big chance as well. Matthew Hill, I think it was, from about 12 yards out with the volley. Yeah, certainly a good instinctive save by Andy Firth there. Williams, Hill. Hill just dropped it, I think, into the 10 roll and they pushed the full the full back further forward on the uh, other side. Williams. Well, the pitch just catches out cream with a substitute. There's nothing you can do about that. It's an important save, this next save here by Firth. Yeah. Good save as well. Yeah, excellent. It's come through a, a group of bodies. It's a decent volley. Oh, fantastic save, one handed. Yeah. There's a brilliant effort by Firth there. The word is uh, Stephen Evans' team to 
compete like this for the rest of the game. Or is Neil Gibson trying to get a tackle in there? Not unlike Gibson. <laughs> to leave his foot in. <laughs> Hart. He won't run out of play. Horan keeps it in play. Bratley. Stephen Evans got his own opinion. The referee has his opinion. It is Andy for 26 years of age, which is a great age for a goalkeeper. Looks such a much better save from this angle, doesn't it, Mark? Well, massive save. One handed, strong hand, as they say. And when you get on that type of run of keeping clean sheets, when you're the goalkeeper and defenders, it's like we say, it's just like scoring goals the other end, it's just as important, Williams. Cyril Nash Hill hooks it on goes out Hill hasn't had too much change out of Ben Nash as he done that uh, right hand side Nash has had him uh, well marshalled yeah yeah most probably uh, the commentators curse we did say that uh, he wasn't having the best of games fantastic save by the way Andy Hur first <laughs> Yeah, absolutely, Mark. You don't keep clean sheets the way he's kept them all season unless you've got a bit of quality about you. No. What I mentioned, Mark, was his aerial ability. Yeah, from corners, yeah. yeah. Well, I suppose if you've got the likes of George Horan and, you know, I don't think they've ever had anybody who's come and uh, really collected the ball from crosses. Not many of them in the Cymru Premier, even Harrison at TNS over a, a 12 or 15 year period depended on the likes of Stephen Evans and Tommy Holmes winning headers if you remember Yeah. don't even think Pickford and the likes and Hennessy of the Wales are all great at coming for crosses Holmes has had a decent game Danny Holmes has to be up there in the uh, man of the match award I think he set the first goal up and hasn't put a foot wrong yeah, very experienced player these days, Danny Holmes. Yeah, is it be his 189th game at this level, and he has a hundred or so, couple of hundred in the football league. Atmosphere building is must, must, must be in a big ground like this, Tom. Even with a big crowd here today, is. They were on the side of the pitch, it's much easier to get the atmosphere, isn't it? Whiteback's really dri driving his way into the game now, and he's been excellent. And then just take a look at this, if they show this. There's no doubt for me that George Horan, with a great challenge as well from Alex Downs, George Horan, as he does, he leaves one in. Just gives him a clip on the way through. Which yeah. just show that they're showing a good bit of fight now, Colwyn Bay. Yeah, six corners to two, though, in their favour. Got to make one pay. Got to make one pay. Could turn this game on his head. Just one goal from a set play. Keeper! Keeper punches away well. Corner again. Seventh or eighth corner coming up. Third goes down. Seventh corner. Hill with his hands on the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper did well to push that one away. Ryan Edwards. Yeah, they set up unbelievably Connors key from these. They have two or three non markers. It'll be a free kick given against Downs. Yeah, he's good, a good, good foul to give away there. Next Sunday night, the 20th of November, on S4C at 9 o'clock, there's a special insight into the inner workings of the FAW. As the team behind the playing team prepare for Qatar. Then, of course, on S4C on Monday, the 21st of November at 6 o'clock, the long wait is over as Wales take on the USA in Doha for the first of their three Group B matches. Good luck to all the lads and everybody involved.
We're right behind them, Tom. Yeah, 100%, Mark. Can't wait. For those games to kick off. I think Neil Gibson will want a little bit more in the next five to ten minutes. Or as he's been around enough to know, 2 0 ahead against a team from a league lower. We just need to keep defending well. Downs has done well since going forward, by the way. He, he's added a bit of momentum to their play. Hart pulls, pushes forward as well. So there has been a change. They've pushed the fullbacks further on in the second period. Yeah. Prima. Oh, chance here. Hart whips it across. Not the greatest of crosses when he got in an important area. Bratley, Holmes will clear his lines, and he does. Much better from Colwyn Bay. I think, uh, actually, you know, you talked about half time, and you said about Steve Evans. Well, what about Neil Gibson? What did he tell his teams? Because really, in the second half, they haven't come out the traps. Yeah, point taken. Ryan Edwards has been instrumental as well. He's got on the ball, which is what he's all about. Yeah, moving him to that centre midfield role. I think Williams has dropped back as well. Fans starting to get behind their team as Callum Morris gets away. Stratulus. Looking for a wonder pass again. Outside of the right boot. Goes back to Cyril. Keeper takes a decent touch. Well, Downs, it's been absolutely brilliant in the second half so far. He's not for losing today. <laughs> to be fair, he looks very much like Orson, doesn't he? Brilliant. <laughs> but some surging runs down that right hand side in the second period. Here we go. May have been one of the reasons why he was uh, player of the year for the supporters last year. He's on it again now. Great ball over to the back post as well. That's great defending by Tommy Holmes. Great Mark. defending from Danny Holmes, yeah. He gets there and just puts it out of play. Chance for the centre forward, though Kirby to physically get him out the way as well. Mm. Gotta be braver, Tom. Yeah, he's gotta he's gotta attack that ball, isn't he? Edwards. 20 minutes into the second half. And Colwyn Bay simply haven't come out of uh, Connors Keys defensive area. If you are Stephen Evans, Tom, and it ends up this way, it stays 2 0, but they keep putting the pressure on like they have, he could say to them, Well done, second period, lads. Let's get on with the job of winning the league now. Yeah, absolutely. But they're still in it, Mark. If they get one, could turn the tide. It's cream of that effort there. Just couldn't strike it properly. Ryan Edwards was having a great game, by the way. He won the cup with TNS as a player on three occasions. So he has the experience. Stephen Evans spoke to him before. He's won the Welsh Cup final as a player on two occasions. They've scored the most goals as well in the Cymru, Prem, in the Cymru North this season. 40 goals. Cymru, Cymru North, second, landed no, with 27. So... They're all about goals this season. It just goes to show you when you step up against higher opposition, it's difficult to put the ball in the back of the net. But now, Connors Key can go back to what they're really good at, set plays. Five men in the line on the 18-yard line. It's better, put, decent push in the back then from the centre-back. Within the law. Firth. Horan's still up. Ooh. We watched the replay of this, Tom. Neil Gibson. 5 6 3 the attendance this afternoon. And a great turnout from Colwyn Bay. Yeah, the vast majority are from Colwyn Bay. No question. Hart. Morris. Disney, oh, great ball. Stratulis goes wrong, Ryan Edwards. Tries to skip in front of the people. Oh, oh. Stratulis, he's gone all the way through. Save. 3 0. It is 3 0. Michael Well does get the goal. But I said he scored earlier on. He finishes a tap. Stratulis is midfield. Just runs round two or three players. 
And after all the pressure from Colin Bay in the second period, Michael Well puts the ball in the back of the net and makes it Connors Key three, Colin Bay nil. Just make it look so, so simple. But all started in midfield, Stratulus, brilliant, skips past Edwards, drives at them. Creamer mistimes his tackle. Keeper, good save with his, his right left foot, lands nicely into the path of Michael Wilde and uh, yeah, the rest is easy. Well, a finisher is a finisher, Tom, because yeah. that is Michael Wilde's 228th goal in 361 games. An unbelievable tally of goals for a target man. Yeah, absolutely. To be fair to Woods, had a great save with his left foot there. He made himself really big and he'd be really gutted that the ball fell to Wilde, but as real good strikers do they're in the right place at the right time right yourself Tom and uh, one of our other commentators and presenters uh, Dylan Ebenezer did say to me the stra Dylan said to me that Stratulis and I haven't seen him this season he said Stratulis was the best player he's seen in the league this season and he showed his uh, quality then by the way well he certainly did I mean Edwards had committed himself to be fair but he just turned on the afterburner there and then Creamer slid in. Steph Edwards and Sam Downey look to be joining. We'll chuck them uh, on for 20 minutes. No Stephen Edwards. Stephen Evans chucking on. Steph Edwards, who has plenty of uh, experience in the Cymru Premier League. Game over, Tom? Yeah, definitely, Matt. Just going to be playing for pride now, Colin Bay. Yeah, I think they've showed well. They've showed us some decent pride in the in the second period. They, at least they've had a go. If I'm the manager, Stephen Evans, if they dropped off and didn't perform and didn't put any pressure on Connors Key at all, I think I'd rather get beat 3 0 and show a bit, which they have. Keto Williams comes off. First one for Sam Downey, I think. And all Sean comes off. For Steph Edwards, Williams and Dylan Allshaw will have bigger jobs to do for the rest of the season in trying to get their team, Colin Bay, promoted to the Cymru Premier. So events like this against Connors Key could become regular events for their football club. Edwards. They're definitely the best team in the Cymru Premier by... A long way of just being mean, not giving chances, Connors Key. Yeah, they, they've absorbed all the pressure, Mark. They're confident in their abilities defensively. Goes down. I think he's fallen down a bit there, asking for one. The referee's right on hand. Cream with the sub team. He's been busy, hasn't he? Yeah, he's tried to get yeah. into the game, Tom Cream. Yeah. He's done well since coming on. Throws himself at it. Not the greatest of dives, by the way. It's no Tom Daly, this one. Over he goes. But as cup ties go, as part of the course, maybe, statistically on where they are in leagues and stuff. But I'm pleased to see Colin may have made a better effort in the second period. Holmes, Morris. Talking a team out there full of league winners, by the way, Tom. Cymru Premier League winners. Horan, John Disney, Callum Morris, Danny Holmes, Michael Wilde. There's just six six league winners. Yeah, they're just, you know, they are a quality team. Yeah, unfortunately for Colin Bay at the moment. The top scorer with eight goals, James Kirby. He's just gone over on his ankle by the look of it. And at the other end, the talisman, Michael Wilde. Just seems to be getting hungrier and hungrier for goals. Brilliant attitude. Could be getting a hat-trick when he's 65 if he carries on like this. Certainly got the ability. Stop laughing, Mark. Just... Seen the goal again. Stratulus, that's a terrific run. It was a plat 
with a missed time tackle there. Yeah, that's a great finish. First touch, back of the net. Like you said, it was bobbling everywhere. Yeah, he didn't go for power, did he? Just No, just, back it, of the net. Linfield coming on the substitute. Craig Linfield and Stephen Evans has done most probably the right thing in taking off James Kirby, the top scorer. When the, the day is done today, Tom, and the Cup... Uh, Round three is over. Don't think anybody in the cup. There's two places you don't want to go, and they'll be the first two teams through. And they're the two places you do not want to go: Clark Hall or the Deeside Stadium. 100%, Mark. Holmes. Morris. Stratulis. Can he get the shot off? Strikes a good ball. Tom. Strikes a great ball. Creamer again. Trying to slide in Steph Edwards. Do you know the thing is, Matt? They, they, up until the top third of the pitch, they just haven't got that final ball, have they? Just to, that makes a difference in the game. The ability of a midfield player to you know, put the right pa weight on the pass to yeah. free a player. And you're breaking down, you're trying to break down Dower, good Dower defenders. Yeah. Back in your point up, Stratulis did exactly what you're talking about at the other end. Ten minutes ago to make it 3-0. Yeah. Firth. Can he make it another clean sheet? I think the two central defenders would be a little bit disappointed. Even he was a bit unlucky there on the last goal, by the way, Pat, but he, he slipped, didn't he? As yeah. is yeah. running through. There's not a lot you can do about that. No, but top players don't slip, do they? That's the difference. And I'm not being I'm trying not to be harsh there, but no, that that is that is the difference. It's a better challenge from Platt. See, great effort again from for me, no doubt, Alex Downs, the uh, Colwyn Bay man of the second half by Miles. Yeah, certainly, uh, it's been a real handful of the right hand side. Ryan Edwards. Look, he's Edwards. got real potential as well to play in the Welsh Premier League. A lot of, play a lot of these players, Tom, on the grass this afternoon, taking slips when they're on the ball. There's a shot there from Creamer again. I don't think the older, uh, the more modern boot are they? Possibly. But then again, in the Cymru North, there's not that many plastic pitches yeah, either. So. Yeah, so they should be used to it. Yeah, yeah, Stephen Evans. Great career, of course, with TNS, West Brom and the likes. And then Welsh Caps. I'm sure he's be looking forward to the World Cup coming up. It's not one-way traffic, though, in the... Uh, coming north there'll be teams like you say on the heels of Colvin Bay trying to get up plan did know in the likes as it is in the uh, Camry South with Barry is, is it me Mark referee now doesn't he let the game play you know the physicality a bit more physical is supposed to be letting it go well, especially on a pitch like this yeah flat creamer Looks it on to Steph Edwards. Edwards, great pass inside from Edwards, of course. Played for the likes of Avarice with Newton. Creamer. Yeah. I'm sure Stephen Evans just doesn't want the game, but uh, Harry Franklin. I was going to mention to you, Tom, uh, about uh, Harry Franklin. Wonderful season last year. Really set Aberyst with the light and uh, had a lot of clips coming in to look at him. It was Connors Key who bought him or acquired him. He's coming. Obviously, he hasn't set the world light as yet. No, um, but I think we had a little chat about it at half time, Mark. And uh, when you come to a new club, the manager that signed him was Craig Harrison, which is interesting. And then, you know, 
up steps Neil Gibson and maybe Neil Gibson doesn't quite rate him as highly as Craig Harrison did so you know there's a lot of different factors has he settled in well maybe not so um, so it does take a bit of time yeah of course it does it's to best. adjust to your new surroundings new teammates etc so plenty of time for him to yeah uh, I agree especially as well when you've got two 30 plus strikers banging uh, 18 is it between them so far this season now in Mike Hayes and Michael Wilde Danny Holmes again clears his lines he's been impressive for me Danny Holmes yeah he's just had a solid game hasn't he nothing more than you'd expect from him All yeah. Yeah. there will be no hat-trick for Mike Hayes maybe the, uh, the class he had a few minutes earlier with Ryan Woods yeah, he's well pleased with the, the two goals he's yeah. already got that's for sure it's a brace it's a brace <laughs> Gibson says well done another two goals to his uh, stats and gives Harry Franklin a chance to win. show people what he could do corner I think it was uh, Nash was it I don't think there'll be many occasions in Connors Keys recent history where they've been outdone by corners by another team. I think they have the day by the way. I think you may have that one wrong. I think Sam Hart. Yeah. Sam Hart heads up behind. First court, first ball, second ball, straight into the hands of Fur. Hart got the header again. Sloppy free kick given away there in the end. No, milking it now for all it's worth, Mr. Firth. No rush, just running down the clock. You'd be well pleased with his uh, team's effort this afternoon, Will Neil Gibson. I'm sure, all the uh, goals will flash up later on and then we'll be on the uh, Scorio Online system by this evening. Neil Gibson won the cup as a uh, manager with Press that in. Yeah, he did, yeah. Stratulus Franklin coming back from offside I think linesman just looks at him play on he says Harrington Franklin wants it in defeat Harrington drives inside clearance by Hart Horan do they deserve a goal Tom? I think so I think they do actually for their endeavours I can tell just highlights what I said earlier in around the box they haven't got that player who can pick a good pass me get a chance here Hill gets a shot off Hill just wide of the target they've plugged away they haven't had that guilt edge chance though have they Tom no as per usual JD Cymru Premier Action continues during the World Cup by the way online on your smart TV next at these live matches a great game Tenabon versus the New Saints with a 5.15 kickoff. One not to miss that. Could be one of them games where TNS could be challenged all the way that one, Tommy. Yes, uh, in a good, rich vein of four, uh, form at the moment, Reese Griffiths' his team. Morris again back to Firth. Hart, Franklin, eager to impress. Well done, Franklin. He gets it. He's tugged back. Could be in trouble here, Sam Hart. It's a free kick at least and a yellow card. Franklin was more physical than Hart. He wanted to get on the ball. And Hart tugs him just about a yard outside the area in the end. Yeah, well, the thing is, once Hart let that ball bounce, he was in trouble, wasn't he? Stratulis is on the pitch. You know, I think he's a bit of a free kick expert. And nobody else going to get near that ball by him. I think, I know he's a free kick expert, Mark. He is pretty deadly from these kind of positions. Four men in the wall. The goalkeeper, Ryan Wood, stood behind. It's a great angle for a right footer, by the way. He can get round the corner here if he goes on Ryan Edwards. Goes the other way, just wide of the mark. I think it's a save from Woods. It is a good save from Woods. It may have been going wide. Yeah, I think he just got a touch to it, Woods, didn't he? Tried to fool him there. Yeah. 
It's a yeah. good save, yeah. decent save. Done well in goals. Well, just comes up off the surface. Could have taken his eye off the ball there with uh, Michael Wilde in his eyesight. So, so, with 83 minutes on the clock, Tom, at present, it just seems like another day in the office for Connors Key. No goals given away. A couple of goals scored the other end, or three goals scored the other end. Touch. Oh, Harrington blows his lines there on the edge of the box. Teed up lovely as well by George Horan. Yeah. Well worked move. Neil Gibson says I did that on yeah. Thursday night. <laughs> and then they've just fluffed it. So yeah, absolutely. There's a couple of fines going in there. Woods. Still plugging away Colwyn Bay. Desperate to get some sort of reward for their efforts. Franklin is really physical since coming on. He wants a penalty, gets a penalty. He's worked his socks off to get it. Unfortunately for the young right back downs, he was too eager to get the ball back in the key area. Has to be a penalty. Yeah, cut across in there, didn't he? Yeah. Good footwork. Manipulates the ball really well there. Wow. Well, I don't think he hacks him, does he? He doesn't really... Yeah. Just does enough. Just catches the back of his calf. He, he shows himself. Yeah. He goes down and hold, yeah. holds his hand on his head. Yeah, Franklin was quite clever there. He just slowed down as well, didn't he? He's worked hard to get the ball, by the way, Franklin. So, Callum Morris. He is a uh, penalty king of Connors Key. He hasn't missed many over the years. Morris against Woods. Morris... Back of the net, 4 0, and it's now turning into a heavy defeat for Colwyn Bay, unfortunately for them. As we say, they've plugged on, but being brutally honest, a 4 0 scoreline is a tough scoreline for them. Callum Morris makes it 4 0 to Connors Key Nomads. Yeah, comfortable penalty. Here's a, a really good spot kick, kick, kick taker over the years. Callum Morris rarely misses. Sends the keeper the wrong way there. He's been one of the better players in this league for three or four years. He was instrumental when Andy Morrison won the league, by the way, two seasons on a trot, and Morrison told people how good a player he was. Called him his Frank Lampard because he always scored goals as well, Tom. Yeah, well, he was really good. 13, 14 a season. Yeah, he was really good at uh, Bangor City as well. Yeah. yeah terrific player, Callum Morris. I should imagine, for Colman Bay, the least added time, the better. As Morris drives away now, he's got a chance if he can keep going into the box. Franklin's in there. Good. Oh, goalkeeper catches it at the second <laughs> attempt. Yeah, both uh, Wild and Franklin really disappointed there. Whether it was the right ball or not from Morris, but he asked questions and Downs again drives forward. He's just driving forward without any uh, direction at the moment. He's better off just sitting in now, I think, at 4 0. Yeah. Fair play to Disney there. He read the situation, he read what's going to happen. And I mean, nice. five would be a crushing defeat, Tom. They don't want to get beat five. No. Four, no. four is heavy enough. Substitution for Colin Bay. Joe Williams. Joe Williams. Ex Carnarvon Town, of course. Comes on for Alex Downs. Yeah. I think Evans has made the right decision there. Gets a round of applause from his uh, faithful Colwyn Bay fans. Joe Williams, Mr. Dependable, he was for a few seasons for Carnarvon Town. Yeah, he certainly was. Very consistent player. And by the look of it, Paulo Mendes is going to join the field with a couple of minutes to go. Great position to be in when you're a manager, chucking substitutes on just for game time when you're 4-0 ahead in a cup match. As a player, Mark, do you think you'd want to come on? Yeah, I think you always want to get on, Tom. Yeah. You are, I was never any Cristiano Ronaldo, so I won't be arguing about it. 
What were you then, Mark, during the playing days? If you weren't Cristiano Ronaldo? More of a Johan Cruyff. <laughs> <laughs> Morris, oh, it's two against one. Stratzelis wants it early. Will Franklin take him on? Forward, forward has to take him on, doesn't he? Gets a shot off. Stratzelis and company are fuming inside. He had to pass that inside, by the way. But to be fair, the defender did well because he stopped him actually playing that ball inside. See if this is catching on all these players out, Tom. Hill, can he get a goal? Chance here now. Oh. But always tackle after tackle after tackle with Connors Key in our penalty box. They're 4 1 ahead. They got 10 players in that penalty area, then trying to defend that on nine players. And John Disney giving a few tellings off then. Disney it is will be leaving the field. Mendes will be coming on. Just a throw one at you, Tom. Uh, I know because it's a cup game, we'll do it. This is a Guess Malcolm Allen's Man of the Match <laughs> Award. A few of the producers behind us fall down because they, we can never guess them. No. Um, Who we, who's it going to be? I go for um, Danny Holmes. Danny Holmes. I, I, t tend to, I tend to agree. I doubt whether it will be. That'll be the first time you agree yes, with me, Mark. It will. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Malcolm will most probably give it to a linesman or something now. <laughs> Final score at the Teesside Stadium. Four goals to Connors Keen under Colwyn Bay. Connors Keen Omads will go into round four as one of the cup favourites. It's a tough day for Colwyn Bay. They've got other things on their mind. Look out for the highlights on Scorio on Monday evening. Final score Connors Keen Omads four, Colwyn Bay nil. Screw fix sprint and not be pale droid and S Pedwarek.
Screw Fix Sprint, and Nobby Pill Droid RS Pedwarek. My brother, I put it there. Kesson, Mumboid, kick on that, and then it kick on that. The Manildio gold. Then I see the good drama. I'm a fan of Camry. I'm in Howth. I'm Ri Howth, the boss. And Erbin by Colwyn. Pedder, he's in the score. Tervan Nollar, Hen, Ben, Hen, Taro, Calamore. It's a new one. Come on, Andrew Dick. A bit of a red and dot or smart in. And Jacho Karamatep. Kevin Ogwer by Colwyn. Mana Echel Geis. Tihonti Gupan Camry. Gonna club him up. Euchinger Camry JD. Eur Echel Geis. Idino. Manuar Briga. And the Gogled Heavens. On the Cocky Palma. Or Pedder, he's in. Dauchin Egal. And the Matep can't have a hit on it. David. Mer, ddoi, Mike and Cadw Cymru, Mike and Mike, Mike Hayes, I'll come to you first, two goals for you this afternoon, it was job done for Connors Keep. Yeah, we worked hard, we worked hard all week, um, we knew it was going to be tough, we knew they'd been the crowd, um, and it was good to get the, the two goals first half, when I'm really confident at half time. And Mike, how desperate were you for that third goal? Because 2-0, it can be a bit of a tricky scoreline, can't it? And they were really putting you under a bit of pressure. Yeah, especially in a cup competition as well. You always want to get that third goal. I think it gives you a bit of security. And also, we know how well um, Evo and Tommy Holmes got these well-trained as well. So we know that was going to be tough coming into the last 20 minutes of a game. So that, that third goal was crucial. And I think it just kind of like put the tie to bed and um, we can we're in the, the river round now, the, the next half. Mike? Hayes, your manager, Gibbo, he was saying, you know, talking about the exciting future ahead and how how much he wants this cup to be a part of that exciting future. You know, it's the Welsh Cup. It's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's brilliant. It's what you want to be um, doing well in. And obviously it's a route through to Europe. So the, as Wildy's just said, we're in the hat for the next round and hopefully we can kick on. And Mike, just finally, how exciting has this season been so far for Connors Key? It has. I think we've um, we've had targets that we've set ourselves, both individually and collectively as a team. I think we're, um, we're we're hitting them targets, but we can always set fresh ones and, and go again. And there's always an objective every single week and and every single uh, every single season to do better and better. Guys, appreciate your time. We'll see you in the next round. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Mike and Mike, half oh, honey, my all. Sean, if I'm more than two on one of the nades, I can't even for the money. Andy Morrison and Gardell on the team of a ship with a bit of the other Devlani and Manun, team of Albono, Noel, and Grieve and Gardan, and Vachabon, them quite of Uncle Rather Saint Yet, and Ada Wall, wouldn't he? I'm already going to have it, because I know them. Cachwin, great, the ear to mark, the ear to the game, 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 the the game, a team and an esplegi in Arabach. Yeah, do do still be in para and Beth film and Gwade. Vasi, so me vid na a segati all a seni and it's a her vasle who are you were a gungra and it's yas and a gungra is a mount. Not a plugi, a yanked Williams EV or then unlucky to do the Arakai, where other than that, and a Hanner Kenta Crea, a goal na e haze. Vasi, so ma vi sure bona na street the Tiore seni and it's a her a Kavnodanessa of Elna Club. Yeah, I can tell the team, lads, Tim, I'm here, I'm an inny de Cloet. OK, Connor, Dawch chi'n ei glywed gan reolwr by Colwyn, Steve Evans, Nessa. Steve, give me your assessment of that one. A, a tough afternoon for your team. Yeah, it was. Um, it weren't my team. Well, I say it weren't my team. First half, we didn't play like we, we normally play. Um, it was almost like we got caught in the headlights. Um, and I didn't recognise us. Um, went in at time, addressed it. And second half, I'm proud of the lads. You know, they worked their socks off second half. We're a, we're a yard sharper. We're, we're, we're in their faces. Um, and for, say, 25 minutes until the third goal went in, we're probably the better team, you know, but they showed their experience as well. You know, the keepers made one good save, but we didn't we didn't test them enough. And um, first half was nowhere near what I know we can play like. Um, but second half, you know, we addressed it and we were better. I guess that third goal came at the worst possible time, didn't it? Because you were really getting back into the game at that point. Yeah, it was a sucker punch. But, you know, we if we're being honest, we weren't good enough today. Um, the first half, we were unrecognisable, like I've said. Um, but saying that, we come out second half 
and we gave it a good go. Uh, I'm proud of the players. Um, I thought um, Ryan Edwards in the middle of the park for, my, for us was superb all game. Um, but like I say, credit to Konoski, they're, they're experienced and they got at what they do. You said before the game you wanted to use today to assess where you guys are as a team. So after that game, where do you think you are? Uh, we're not a million miles away. Um, after the second half, anyway, you know, and, and that's not tactical. That's just um, having the desire to go and work hard, you know, and, and really, you know, be aggressive in everything you do. Um, second half, we were like that. Ah, first half, we weren't. Steve, thank you very much. Deal. Deal. Yeah, Steve Evans for that. Did all Claude and Glade, so the Montreal Excel and all her knee. I do all good to know them and back. I blame of it is Shano Evod. You know, I just felt team see that a far the Uchting Red Cymru. Well, in doing nothing well again, uh, I go well to score better than them. Do not them an adler work he um, Savon by Colwyn, uh, our pale dryness and O'Hara Panama. Um, fuck well, Stephen Bosch in Melbourne, them um, basically for the Lord. The credit. Uh, o Danny Grona, we've had a lot of medals. We've had in the Doi Savle and in Guessar, our Giver Huara and in um yeah, positive, am I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, Doi the Mother of Goal, Doi Goal and Ryle Hannah Evet. They're very well. No other idea. Mike Wild, Gal Golvach, or Scott Sundam. So on the Macrayuri Vank, we go on my event. Think Master Tule Sundam Vana. Macrayuri Vank of Rysama. Yeah, to the third rank point, he brought you on the back and look at even on this. Get our cover the end of the camera. I'm going to run the fun or an Amarni de la Ramas for the lot west. Savage Harry Drade and Michael Wild and they've been Michael Wild and they've scored you. I do. I've got Malcolm and so on. Come ready at a couple of cunts. I do. I'm sorry. I do. Fell out like that. But see what brave room in Wales for two. But more brave got three. We're just an trade egg. That's on the fin. Yeah, positive. I think we're doing well. Na, to the Malcolm and what's the but a. Bail, Leds House and House, the Munichotli Mediant. But he's very well, Jorge Urivan, and there are no Camerid, he gave level Patai, a cray at the Kavle, Michael Wild. Well, what a take the way. I think I've been in or Jorge Ur Vasse, Asahara, Level and Uch. I am going to finish Jorge Ur, Moyo Mate, Nessa. I can't with Nos, a schema, but he 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 can't with Neil Dillon was just saying, you've had a brilliant week, four goals today, a place booked in the fourth round, you must be delighted. Yeah, I'm really happy, you know, there's always a, you know, a chance that this could go wrong, you know, especially when we've had such a positive result last weekend, we're on the back of, you know, 10 straight wins, um, and then obviously, you know, a side issue of a new contract and uh, manager of the month, those things can go wrong sometimes, so we had to make sure we were right. Uh, we focused really well this week because we knew that Colwyn Bay are a really tough team and give them credit. You know, four nil probably flatters us a little bit in terms of some of the things that you know some of the things that they caused us today. But I thought we were really professional about what we did and really efficient. It seemed like a pretty complete performance from your point of view. But what aspects pleased you the most? Yeah, I think obviously I think now we're starting. We know we're defensively really strong. We know teams are going to have to do really well to score against us here, especially. Um, but we've added goals into our games in the last couple of weeks, and obviously five last week, four this week. The confidence that the players are playing with, the way that they're training, everything's rolling with good momentum at the moment. And what you've got to do is just try and harness that and make sure we carry it on going into every game. And at the moment, the players have been really coachable, really easy to manage, and it's working really well. No, there's still a long way to go in terms of this season, but how much more do you think we can expect to see from your team? Well, it's hard to say, you know, you can expect to see more when with the results we're getting. However, the performance levels, I think there's still areas that we can improve on. Um, however, you don't want to be super critical of the players when they're doing as well as they are. But so, but it's about improving week by week. We're working on things in training so we can get better and not have the periods in the game when we're maybe without the ball as much as we are today. So, you know, lots of areas to work on, always looking to improve, but, you know, please at the moment, with how things are going. You've got a semi-final in the Nathaniel MG Cup coming up in a couple of weeks, Neil. I guess the treble's still on. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. I mean, I suppose all we're all focusing on at the start of the season, we, you know, we had set certain targets for ourselves as a group after the, you know, the opening defeat to Cardiff met. We set targets of where we wanted to be. We're probably exceeding them at the moment, which is great. However, you know, we keep this going as long as possible. We'll focus on Carnarvon on Friday night, who I watched last night, who were excellent against TNS, uh, and we'll reset, ready to go again this week in training. You've just mentioned TNS, Neil. I have to ask, can you hunt them down? Is that belief there? And, you know, look, these, these, this group of players, there's, there's a number of them 
of them in there who have. Um, however, I think, you know, the likelihood is that CNS has set the standards. You know, they've pushed it again in, in the last couple of years with, you know, the budgets and the resources of the players they've been able to bring in. And obviously, we're a part-time football club now. However, you know, we'll just keep winning games of football and see where that takes us, hopefully. Neil, appreciate your time. Diolch Neil Gibson, Gibson. Diddorol. Sean. A noddy man a crew of an sid weddy, and if you're going right, sid weddy stop your saint here. Now, with Tassano them de Cala Dachre Aravna, Cochi do your game a canton, and game a not have it from a scythe point at your saint here, them de Cochi, my not scythe point in table on our morning. My more brave clo and no great, nothing dear study on another. Well, never say never, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, my mini von Arno, the Idalan, get our saint here with uh, Munan uh, obvious and. Trabod y gynewllyn o chwreiwyr fel ti'n gweud sydd wedi bod na wedi profi ennill y bencyn ffwriaeth, mae'n y gyfle, ond mae rhaid i'r seintu newydd slip o lan mewn un i ddwy gem er mwyn i hwnna hap digwydd. Ie, yn unio. Mae yna un gwl fach arall i weld o prama. Mae yna man i ni gwblhau'r darlun fel petai i gael y bedwaredd. Ac eto ni'n gwblhau'r i Franklin yn dod i'r cae. Mae fe eisiau creu argraff ar symud o Aberystwyth. Na thyn dda? Do, fi'n dod ar ddiwar y fainc. Ti is a provi point, ti is a provi real, or right, pam wyt ti'n gael fi allan, fi is a dechrau di sadw nes. A i fo'n onest, dyna be nath Harry Franklin, nath yr hoi di'n nhw'n bydd lle, nath yn dda i ennill y gic o'r smotyn. Dyna be ti'n moyn o o'r y garfan, ti, cystadleiaeth o fewn y garfan. Ie, yeah, nyn i peth sy'n taro fi am Neil Gibson hefyd, mae'n siarad nawr gyda Sioned yn dawel yn gwenu. <laughs> Ci tawel sy'n cnoi, <laughs> ci'r dawel sy'n cnoi. O'r bwch o'r y cae, mae fe'n voistwyl, mae'n cwyno, mae fe'n cicio gwaith Andy Morris yn ar lefel arall, ond dyw Neil Gibson, dyma'n dweud, dyma'n sioned yn ddoch yn y cae chwaith. Wel, fi wedi profi yn Henry'n Coch, oedd yn rheol o'r Prysatyn, fi cicio'r popeth off yn gwybod fi a Neirin Thomas, ond o'n stori wahanol, ond um, to, yeah, mae'n misr gwrae allan ni chwreiwyr bod tro, mae'n gystad leol, clywon ni Mike Wilde yn siarad, to mod uh, pa mor dda yw'r sesiau yn y hymarfer, felly popeth mae fe'n trio'r neud yn broffesiynol. Ydy, ie, yeah, ydy, yn bendant. Uh, Cwpan Cymru, y drydedd rownd uh, Saint and Ewydd, un o team y cyntaf i fynd drwodd. Y Saint and Ewydd yn chwarae neithiwr yn erbyn Cair yn Arfon, yn i'n sbwylio'r sgôr i chi, rhagom, gawn ni weld beth y gwyddodd neithiwr y Saint and Ewydd yn cwrdach yn Arfon. Daniels, Moan, Ilio Smith, yn dyreithiad o ganol y cae a groesiad gynnar i mewn teg at McManus. Probo! Ymchwip o gol! Gan rai yn brobl, dim clopaeth i tael y French. Drian yn y gol, yr ansawdd yn o ditog. Bas hir, Astles yn rhyddhau, McManus ti cefni catsau, doedd hi'n mynd cam sefyll, fe'n torri mewn ar ei droi de. Yn o i dir er gyd sydd â tael y French. Yn o French ar flyned raid. Clark yn camu heibio un o Edwards bras gam i ti gael y cwrdd cosbi McManus dan bwysa gan Lori Bell cyfle i ddeblu mantais y sint hynny wydd gwaith gwych gan Lori Bell Mi'n aeth tael y French yna i hebron McManus yn bellach o'r wrth y gol neu drongl yn y nodach yn Lori Bell yn gwneud y gwaith am ddiffynol ac yn clirio ddiar y llinell Brobl ar Gig Gornel i gem yn ydw'r gem di chwara Te gat Astles, Benia Trid gan Astles Y beniad. Nibir postyn pellau. Propl. Ar gig Gornel tyg at y postyn pellau unwaith eto. Beniad allan. Nôl i mewn gan. Astles. Chiselvich. Ar er gyd. Flach i byr postyn pellau. Am y trydydd tro. Hyn yma o gig Gornel. Chiselvich y tro ma yn dod yn agos. Rautledge. Mewn i McManus yn ceisio rhyddhau yn o le gan Mas Hughes ti cefn i Davies ochr arall yn codi Ben, mae Ben Wyn mae'n am bas wych gan Dan Gossett mae'n gyllodd yma i gynarfon o'r dyngo fartal yr arbediad yn wych gan Conor Roberts yn gael llawer i wneud drwy gydol y nos ond yna nhw'r thym o sodiad bendigedig gan gynarfon Davies McManus Allan i brobl. Yn dyfdi ond o'n i yw'r cwrdd cosbi. Ar daw sygad McManus ar postyn pellau. O Tysylwyd a darodd y postyn. Di hyngmarall i gynarfon. Groesiad wych gan brobl. 
Natürlich hat Cisilvic mit der Plürmann Zeiss. Rauchtlein, ich brauche auch mal Wilson Rehle. Ein Rasenwlein mit einem kurzen Kostbiss mit der Tag an Wilson. Und der Methi Köbler hier rein. Nein, wir haben mal einen Rehle. Es ist nicht mehr ein Zäum, wie ich mir auch nicht kurzen Kostbiss. Und der Zinnerer geht über Post in Pesta. Cartwright. Und dann bin ich sack, kann Redmond. Sieht hier auch Pius Hughes. Er hat geht, er bettet ja, du ich kann Conor Roberts. Rapius er eilid, hann hat þetta kennarfann en gvartsal, skoruð að þúi, hann er rófum fyrir norrá, hann er binnmenni þið flint. Rapius allt hann, ég er þið. Bastak hann, Donnyl, Jófó, það er ergið, fór ergið, en frakk yfir postin pella. Rapius er pæni, típing og elskan kennarfann. Das ist ein Problem, ich habe noch nicht gesagt. Daniels. Sie hat zu Kurt Kospi im Ofen, er hat auch sie rauchtlich. Du musst gar nicht lauern. Was ist das mit dem Rettmann? Der Kreuzschia. Sie hat Slio Smith, oder Peter, der Dito, der Teile French. Kreuzschia da. Gan Rettmann. Und Benja hat ihn da, er wird Gan Slio Smith. Und der Peter hat die Pinguessler Benja. Can Taylor French. That's right. Oh, Joe Fong caught here, Mary Ann, some of Dan Redmond, the Braskamir, Kurt Cosby, Kubla Sellier, Vidi Goliai, Amayo and Great in it. Sign a quarter hour on out, take him with this. Joe Fong, Kelly Allen Kuski, Kidder Mediant, Dan Redmond, the Mantisho, either play Mantisha St. Tanner with the Shurgany and Golden Camel Line. Hier bei Tuarez Raum. Sieht seine Wittui. Können wir von dem. Bei Tagen Rob Hughes. Hughes hat draußen kurz Kospier erkennt. Sieht das zu Color. Connor Roberts. Wilson. Die Schamte. Die Oitonne Hugh. Die Praxis hat gesagt: Pass mit den Noli Wilson. Wilson hat erkennt. Þetta er lefa, þetta er skoraði drutt eðar nossan. Bradley, ef var gikk Gornell, sig að það kort hvegg, Lorry Bell, maður að köfla, maður að gól, túr út í hinn. Makin Arvon, er óður ekki heim. Báði úrð. Dan Davies, þó þú kem ferði að dóla. Það er getið nóg bæð þér kofis. I don't want to get too down, but the standards we set are a lot, lot higher than that from our point of view. Take away Canovan because I thought they played well tonight, but take away that just us alone, our standards were well below tonight. My nan oedd ei dod yma, dyn ni wedi colli, a dwi'n casau colli, ti'n gwybod i'n e. Ond am be mor wedi'n neud heddiw, a performiad wedi'n neud am y cris, a cymeriad mor wedi'n dangos, a nhw ddim mynd o dan, a ni'n dal i ti a chwarae, a ni'n cosi nhw lot o problemau'r ar adeg get. Wel, dyn ni'n nhw ddeud y ti'n eset i chwarae dda, oedd hwnnw eich, os oedd ni wedi neud mor dda heddiw. Dwi'n ti'n dod i ti'n esma, a nhw oedd a rech chi spiar ffordd gwahanol i chwarae, dwi'n Ond yna ni am pnawn ma, echaf bwyntiau i ddod cofio chor penwthnos, penwthnos Copan Cymru, nos lun a mwy i weld, nos ffawrth hefyd ar S. Pedorec. Bwna bod yn amser i ni fynd, Siôn, mae Copan y byd yn agos a i wna ar feddwl y Choreiwyr, penwthnos y fanyn o Gol Man City, yn colli na fynd Brentford, ysyn y Choreiwyr yn dal nôl efallai. Wel, rhywbeth yn dal nôl, dyna pint i'n dal nôl, dyna pint i'n cael anaf, ond ie, dyn ti'n allbeth i'n gweud. Fi siŵr bod, Tom, mae'n profiad od cael cwpan o byd hanna ffordd trwy tymor. A fi siŵr falle fel ti'n gweud, am bell i chreu'r ymwneud, ok, so i'n mynd i'n mesio allan, felly garen dacl na i fynd. Ie, gawn i'n weld. Diolch am y cwmni hefyd, heddi, Siôn, dyna ni o Gwpan Cymru i Gwpan y byd ar S. Penoreg, a ewch gynghrair Cymru yn y canol, a'r oil gerdant sy'n esan, a grynhoi'r cyfan ar S. Penoreg i chi, mwna'n dweud y cyfan. Wrthwn i ymnawr, hoel fawr, tarha.